please go by and visit our Cock County Band Concession Stand. Hello, football fans, and welcome to the 2014 edition of the Gatlinburg Pittman Highlander football team. Mike Helen and Rob Younger tonight. Rob here at Cock County High School Highlanders on the road for the first of only four away games this year. And Mike, this has been a, an interesting series with us. Cock County's been down the road; they're much bigger school, but we've really had three good ball games with them. Lucky to play them early in the season. Big story tonight, Mike, is going to be the heat and a lot of two-way players and 90 degrees and uh, and a new quarterback, lots of new faces on the football field. But I'm um, excited to get going tonight. I tell you, you know, I remember back when I played football on you too, we'd have loved to have the fall camp weather-wise that all the high schools in East Tennessee this year have gone through. Of course, yesterday was the hottest day of the summer, and today is, is the hottest day of the summer. But like you said, conditioning will be, uh, uh, be a big part of tonight's game. It, I hate to say it, but there's going to be a lot of cramps out there. And, Mike, you know, another interesting thing is uh, our football team has not played on natural grass since last football season, since that the Carter game of last year. Rob, Gatlinburg Pittman, the key this year, I think, is that big offensive line up front. Of course, you got the new quarterback, sophomore Albert Warner, but uh, and big Michael Music back there. But uh, I tell you, that offensive line, all starters last year, Big bunch of boys. Well, Mike, we've got four seniors on the line, and uh, and they all started last year. Some of them started multiple years. We've got a newcomer, Clay Coglin, um, at left tackle, 5'11", 230. Offensive line should be the strength of this football team. Michael Music is the strength of the football team. But, Mike, one thing you never can discount is the strength of coaching staff. And, and tonight, before in pregame, we were talking to the athletic director and a couple of former coaches here, and they said, you know, as long as Benny Hammonds is the head football coach, this team's going to be well-organized, well-coached. And he really thinks that's why we have beat Cock County the first game of the year the last three years. And, uh, you know, we got some coaches back that used to be with us that went off and became head coaches and now are back. Got a great group of young coaches, and it's just a great mix of young enthusiasm and several veteran, older veteran coaches. And uh, so strength of coaching staff is just just really good for us at Gatlinburg Pittman. Of course, Rob, tonight in our pregame production meeting at Ruby Tuesday's Restaurant, there's actually more people, Newport people, talking about the uh, – Cock County football team this year instead of the Cock County Fair. Well, you know what? It's been a long time since I've heard a lot of positive comments from about Cock County football. I talked to Coach Casey Kelly, Coach Scotty Sutton, guys that played here, played college football, and coached here for a few years. And this is the first time in about a dozen years that I've heard them say anything positive about this football program. They said they've kind of got it going in the right direction. I said they're really their, their first unit is looking really good. They don't have a lot of depth, but they think they're going to put a pretty good football team on the field tonight. Let's talk a little bit about quarterback, Rob. Albert Warner, the sophomore, has got that starting job. Uh, really didn't play many varsity snaps last year because of the three-year starter, Tanner Cox. So, uh, Pretty, pretty good uh, uh, shoes to fill, but i tell you one thing I like about Albert is he's a good steady player. He's not going to make mistakes. He's, he's a good uh, field general. Well, Mike, I think as it goes on, he's going to start making some big plays. He had a great middle school career, great freshman year. He's a great leader, obviously a very intelligent kid, and he's going to know everything. Um, but you're right, he's not going to make mistakes. But I think as it goes on, I think he's not going to, you know, that word that everybody overuses, game manager, I think he's going to be better than that. I think he's going to turn out to be an outstanding uh, quarterback for us. And uh, so you just kind of got to be patient with him. And, I, and I'm sure they're going to kind of ease him into it and ease the package to him. But uh, I, I think he's going to be good. I think we're going to be fine with Albert at quarterback. Of course, on the offensive side of the ball this year, offensive coordinator Zach Schrant. You know, uh, done a great job play calling last year. And, and uh, you know, he's uh, – Zach's one of these wide-open guys, but I know that Benny has to rein <laughs> him in sometimes so he can get back to that power offense. Well, you know, Zach was a skill player in college. And, uh, you know, he does – and he like to, likes to throw the ball around, likes to throw the ball deep, and likes to be as innovative as he can with the formations, motions, and, and play calling. But – but you're right, he's going to have to, and he's got some young players. And, and you know, really, when you got Michael Music, you don't have to be a genius at, at, as an offensive coordinator. You've got to just block and, and hand him the football. But um, he is. He's an excellent young coach, does a great job, and uh, it's going to be fun watching him and our friend Big Jim Moore in the booth tonight. Jim, of course, calling the defenses for the Highlanders. Taking the place of longtime assistant coach, football veteran coach, Neil Estes. You know, I was talking to Jim this morning, and, and of course he said the last thing that somebody said to him after practice before the first game, he said, you know, when Neil was coordinator, we shut him out 
got Shutcock County out. So he's a lot of pressure on him. Big shoes to fill. Rob, we'll be back in just a few moments with tonight's opening kickoff here at Cock County High School. Hedrick Phil, Larry Williams Stadium between the visiting Gatlinburg Pittman Highlanders and the home standing Cock County Fighting Cocks. Ladies and gentlemen, rise to your feet to welcome on the Clark County High School football team. Ladies and gentlemen, the Cock County boys basketball team are at the fence selling tickets for one dollar for a chance to win a barnwood painted sign that says, Cock County, we are family. Come on down and see it. 
They'll also be having a barbecue and silent auction fundraiser for Cox County High School basketball. Going to the game on September 19th, stop by the Cox County High School cafeteria for your pre-game meal and silent auction. Auction and dinner from 5 till 7 p.m., $8 per person. Barbecue sandwiches, baked beans, coleslaw, chips, homemade desserts, and drink are included. Captain for Cock County, number one, Jordan Carpenter. Number 54, Blake Gentry. Number 34, Sam Hupper. And number five, Skylar Allen. Captains for Gatlinburg, number 65, Will McMahon. Number five, Stephen Russell. And number 73, Andrew Nolan. Along with number 42, Michael Music. Getting back at uh, Hedrick Field, Cock County High School, Mike Allen, Rob Younger, Marty Nicely, Randall Bryan, Kevin Turney to bring you tonight's broadcast when you're Gatlinburg Pittman Highlanders and the Cock County Fighting Cocks. Captain's on the field for the Highlanders. That's number 65, Will McMahon, number 73, Andrew Nolan, number five, Stephen Russell, and number 42, uh, Michael Music. Rob, right here at kickoff time. It's hot, buddy. It is hot. It is hot down on the field. It's hot in the press box. Gatlinburg Pittman's going to receive Gatlinburg the football. Mike, great calls. group of seniors Gatlinburg you see getting off the field right there. And the reason those got four guys are captains tonight is they have put a tremendous amount of work into their four-year career at Gatlinburg Pittman High School. And here we go. Gatlinburg Pittman, Class 3A, Cock County, Class 5A. Of course, Rob, next year. Entire state's going to a new classification system. We'll talk a little bit more about that next week and as the season progresses because we don't know how classification will incur until here in about a month, six weeks. And, hey Mike, this has been a good four-year series for the Highlander. Cock County's been down the last few years. They're a school of 1,200 students. We've got about 575 enrolled at Gatlinburg-Pittman right now. Both teams have around 40 varsity players dressed out. But um, Cock County is, seems to be on the upswing. These are the Highlanders. That's number seven, Carlos Sweeney, flanked to his right by number 20, Austin Klein, and to his left, number three, Blake Ogle. And Mike, those are three guys that can handle the football. They'll make good decisions, but uh, but they're they're playmakers. And of course, if they kick the ball short, Stephen number five, Stephen Russell is right there, probably one of the fastest guys on the field. And Mike, early in the season, special teams are always a concern. I mean, you, you know, you, sometimes you line up a lot of sophomores, a lot of non-starters, and just, you know, it's one of those things where you don't put as much time working on it as you do offense and defense, and all coaches are a little nervous coming into the preseason on special teams. One good thing about it, Carlos has the sun to his back receiving the football. And we're underway from... Cock County High School, that's Carlos Sweeney at the 13 yard line, cuts back inside and back outside. Carlos trying to get on the corner, finally brought down at the 27 yard line. So the Highlanders, as a flag does fly right here, it's got, I think it's going to be a late hit, Rob, or was that a face mask? Carlos Sweeney, Mike, I think it's going to be a late hit. It's going to be a 15 yarder. Good job by Carlos Sweeney, Mike. Can you see that? that that group in front of him drop back, get in front of him, but then they don't take off. Carlos didn't. They, he had guys to block, but they didn't take off after he caught the ball. But uh, there's your late hit by their number 42. So we'll stamp it off. Uh, we're going to spot it right at the 42-yard uh, line. Personal yeah, foul Pittman, good County. position to open the night's drive. 
first drive of the 2014 campaign. Number four, Warner, the quarterback. For the Highlanders from their Music own number 42, years. the tailback, GP trips to the left. Music toss sweep. Music still on his feet. Finally brought down for a loss of three back at the 39 yard line. And Mike, oh, they come out, they come out in trips music. to the left and trying to outnumber everybody. And the most crucial guy to block on that particular play went untouched and uh, made a big made a big football play for Cock County about a four yard loss. So with the loss on the play, it's gonna bring up second down 13 at the 39 yard line of the Highlanders. Gillespie and Ogle to the right. Music on the give. Up to gut. Still on his feet. Breaks a tackle. Breaks another tackle. 40, 35, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. Michael Music. <laughs> 62. <laughs> what, what a football play, Mike. Great job by the Highlanders coming back after a negative play. And I tell you, when we went to the Jamboree last weekend and saw Michael Music play, I thought that was the first time where I said, you know, this kid's always been a beast. He's got the, that raw talent. He's always played hard, played his heart out. But I saw improvements as a running back last week after just a, a good summer camp of coaching, and that was just unbelievable. To attempt, Aaron Romero. Romero to attempt the PAT. Snap is down, kick is up, and the kick is it's good. good. So here with 11.08 remaining first quarter, Highlanders on top, 7 to nothing. And, Mike, we're obviously going to have a replay, but I want you to just a pretty good blocking up front right there. You see Will McMahon leading the charge, making a great block, him in the right tackle. Look at it. And, it, and when you go back and look at this, you're going to see 52, Mac Taylor, making an incredible block, Keep get, getting engaged, keeping his feet moving. You're going to have to give him a, a helmet decal too, but great play by Michael Music. right there, number two for Cock County, the uh, free safety. He had a pretty good angle on Michael, and Michael <laughs> just kicked those after burners in. Well, you know, the thing about it, Music is 6'2", 240 pounds. That kid's probably about 175 and looks like he could fly. Had the angle on him, and, he, and Music just kept turning it on, and uh, what an incredible football play. So GP on the board here first at Cock County High School. Remember, Gallimore Pittman will be back home next week. Friday night kickoff, 730, with a tough Rob 1A football team to bring back Cherokees. And, Mike, they are. They, you know what, looking at the, at the schedule going into the season, you know what you're going to get out of, out of some teams. But, boy, that's one that just really scares you because it's a game that we should win. They're smaller than us and a non-district game. But, boy, they really County, scare you. Number four, Jake Lindsay, and number six, Keyshawn Hurst. Mike, two plays and a touchdown. Rob, some of your favorite guys out there, the kickoff coverage team. <laughs> now, they're, they're the guys that when they're our age, Mike, they don't remember what they had for <laughs> breakfast, though. <laughs> set, set to kick off, number 25, Aaron Romero. And, Mike, I tell you one big change that the Highlanders have made that I like already. I love our kicker, Romero. Aaron Romero to kick off for the Highlanders. Oh, great kick. Sells down to the three-yard line. Johnson on return. Zaycon Gillespie down there first. Finally brought down at the 24-yard line. I think that was by number 89 for the Highlanders. Kristen Moore Keith on the initial stop. My great coverage by number 12, Zaquan Gillespie. He's going to start for us at outside linebacker, but he's a guy that can make plays all over the football field, but great kickoff coverage by him and a great kick by Romero. Pretty good front four up front for the Highlanders, Rob. Mike, and you, and you look at you got big Mac Taylor, who's had a great career at, as a Highlander, and you got Christian Moore, the other defensive end, who's 6'6", 215 pounds, and just absolutely looks great. Got a veteran in Andrew Nolan First and Michael and Music at defensive tackle. Oh, looks music like not in there right now. Of course, Rob Will McMahon is in there for Music, giving him a blow. Shotgun formation for the uh, Cock County. Looking, looking, throws the ball. We almost picked off there by a Carlos Sweeney up. Mike Cock County comes out in an empty set. No backfield set, three wide to the left, two to the right. Broken up by Defense did a great job adjusting, getting lined up to it. Got a pretty good push up front. And Carlos Sweeney, who we talked about in our pregame meeting, is just has a knack for getting around the football. Close to a pick six. Cock County doesn't like to huddle, Robert, calling those plays from the sideline. Wide receivers do not in. huddle.
Quarterback drops, looks, looks, looks. Plenty of time, throws that ball's going to be complete. Sweeney can't bring him down yet. Finally brought down by Gillespie and Ogle at the 20 yard line, make it the 18. The Mike Perk, good Five pass protection by Cock County. Stewart. Had a guy wide open, wide open running the post pattern Five right down, down the middle. Quarterback, Russell. not a beautiful pass, but got it there. And one and thing Clay that um, that the coaches have worried about was we haven't done a great job open field tackling. Down. And that is just a great demonstration. You can't just, you've got to break down, you've got to get a hat on it, you got to wrap up. You, of course, Gatlinburg missing an all-state linebacker, Spencer Bryan from last year's squad. Rob, he was, he was always tough getting in that quarterback on that blitz. Like I said, Cock County and Whiteouts do not huddle up on first and 10 at the 18-yard line. And, you know, one thing, Mike, I th there's the option play. and Ball loose right there. Cock County does get on it. They're and, Mike, that's going to be a late hit on number 55. Gabe Gottschall. Gabe Gottschall. And... Uh, Fumbled on the play, had an opportunity for a, for a no gain, and then we come in and jump on the back for a, for a late hit. As you look at the replay, pretty good option play by uh, Cock County. Personal of course, foul. knew coming into the game that they were going to run a heavy <laughs> dose of option, Mike, and that's one of those things where you don't see a lot of option in today's football, so you got to really work on it. you got to got to take care of everybody. It looked like a load option, and uh, instead of reading the tight end, they blocked the tight end, and Christian Moore couldn't get off the block, didn't have anybody on pitch. With the step off, it's going to be first down six. Make that after first and go at the six-yard line. Water, first and goal. Trips to the left side, long wide out to the right. Well, they're probably going to try to stay with that option right here, try to pick up six yards on four plays. But I'm wrong on that. Looks, throws. Touchdown, Cock County. Touchdown, Cock County. The Mike Cock County moving the ball down the Pass field, pretty good quarterback play. And one thing that you know, one thing that I see looking at Cock County's offense, they've obviously got to spread across the field. You know, it looks like they get really big splits between the center and the two guards. You know, and and opportunity to bring those linebackers in the A gap. But I pretty hey, give it to Cock County, pretty good job moving the football down the field. Mike, just based on the last three games with Cock County, I, after after we scored on that second play of the game, and typically they would kind of fold their tents and uh, lose the momentum, and, and you got to give it to them getting right back and, and getting with it. Kick is up, and the kick is good. Is good. So 9.40, like at 9.52, first quarter remaining, all knotted up 7-7. Seven to seven. I've got a replay coming up of a touchdown right here. Pretty good execution, Mikey. You know, one, one thing that's just really frustrating for a defensive lineman is, you know, you're getting these teams are getting in shotgun formation, getting the snap, have one back or two backs protecting, and they're just like three quick steps and getting rid of the football. It's really hard to get that pass rush in there. So, you know, it's the best you can do is get get a, as good a push as you can, get your hands up, and try to reduce the throwing lanes. But pretty good, pretty good run by Cock County. Rob Hawk, Human Knight. Going to play a factor. It's played a factor on me and you in the press box already. Right. Mike, I haven't counted how many two way players Cock County has. Of course, we have almost all of our guys, except the quarterback, are two way starters. Sweeney deep for the Highlanders. Deep, Carlos Sweeney. Sweeney at the 16-yard line. Nice gap up to center. Carlos still on his feet up to about the 37, 38-yard um, line. He's brought down by Vlaga Cox. Mike, good field position, good return. Great job by Carlos handling the football. And you got some young guys up there on that on that front line, and, you know, they drop back and they set up. 
and did a great job setting up the, the wedge, but when they got set up, they didn't move it forward. And Carlos, of course, ran up ran up their back, didn't have anywhere to go with it, but uh, good field position for the Highlanders. Gallenberg, Pittman goes on offense from their own 36. Sweeney, Ogle to the right. Moore tied in left. Music, the tailback. Black Ogle. A lateral rock, Pass uh, intended incomplete. for Sweeney. It's incomplete. Second down, 10. It was intended for Sweeney right there, Rob. Just a little high right there. Just a little high. Got to just open those hips and sling it. And, uh, of course, Mike, he's going to have to get a few of those under his belt. You know, first varsity pass. Yeah. yeah. You know, but Rob, a good safe pass right there. Try to get Warner, you know, uh, make that first completion of the ball game so he can get rolling. Gillespie and Ogle to the left. Music on the pitch. Music hammered right there. Music carries. We'll call it maybe a gain of one on a play. Third down, nine Highlanders. 9-33. Robbie Mathis with the initial hit for County. Cox Cox County. Open game of the first opening game of the season for both squads here tonight. Zero game away about a yard. Third football. down, nine. And Mike, a new lineman in the game, number 78, Zach Akey. Big boy. And he might be in there as a, as a fullback. No, he's in there at left guard. There he is, number 78, moved here from... New York State. Warner, Warner pistol formation trips to the right. Rose out looking, 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 still on his feet. Brought down at the 40 yard line. Cock County's forced the Highlanders to kick it away. And Mike, that's about, all, that's about all Albert could have done the right there. He did a good job reading the coverage. Lot, nobody was really open. And, uh, about the best it's he could have done. Down. Take the football. Good job by Albert right there. Robick said. Could have threw it up and put it up in the air. Bad things can happen right there. Hey, you know, get down. He's brought down and uh, let his uh, defense play football, get the ball back for him. Mike, one good thing right here, get Set a good, good punt, high punt. The sun's right in the deep back's face. Correction. Blake Oval to punt, fair call, uh, catch call for, and made at the 26-yard line of Cock fair County. Fair catch so call County by Skyler offense for the second time tonight. 34 yards on the punt for Blake Ogle. You know, one thing we haven't seen Cock County do on offense on their first drive is they're a big screen team. They Cock run several County different types of screen. They'll run what they call a tunnel screen where they'll send all the receivers out and, a, and the widest guy underneath them. And they'll, they'll run traditional tight end fullback screens and uh, haven't seen that, but heavy on the option and, and, and throwing the ball down the field a little bit. Music back in there on defense this series. Penalty marker on the play. Couldn't tell what that call was, Rob, but we'll get it from the uh, head umpire, head refer uh, referee tonight here in just a moment. Offsides Highlanders. Gallenberg Pittman with a neutral zone infraction. And Mike, I think he must have lined up upside, uh, offsides. I didn't see anybody jump. So with the five yard offsides penalty against the Highlanders, that'll bring up second down five. Cock County here with 8-18 remaining first period from Cock County High School. Quarterback draw right there. He's got some running room. And more. There's a block in the back right there. He's going to draw the way, Rob, but this one's coming back. Touchdown, Jordan Carpenter. Marco Rob, I, I think the right play. there, I, I think if the Cock County guy had even held up, I think he was going to score on that anyway. We'll get a look at the replay here. It might look like they can't hit number 20, Austin Sides, in the back. We'll, we'll see the call right here. Of course, Rob, we're gonna, probably going to take the penalty back here that was holding back at the line of scrimmage. Two penalties on the plate, blocking the back and holding. I did not see that first flag, but, hey, we'll take the one way back here. Well, I think uh, Sides would have had a shot in him right there, but uh, two penalties holding on the plate. We'll Clark take the County one at the line ball. of scrimmage, and that's going to uh, back him up here. Remember, you can see this broadcast on Channel 4, the Peg Channel, downtown Gatlinburg. And on Channel 80, the Sevier County Board of Education Television Network. 
first and Typically, 15 after the penalty Saturdays for Saturdays at 11, Kevin. Mondays at 7, and Wednesdays at 7. And any other time Kevin Tierney wants to put it on. So with the back off, Rob, first down 15. My pretty good play by Cock County. You know, they spread everybody across the field. And for a passing team, they really get pretty good, pretty wide line splits, especially the guard center, and uh, get everybody going in one direction. And there's in the pressure. <laughs> there we go, number 55, Gabe, Gabe Gottschall from his Mike linebacker position. By Gabe Gottschall. And Mike, I think that's what we're going to have to do. I think that the, those inside linebackers are just going to have to really fill those big A gaps and get a good get to get pressure Marshall on the quarterback. Three, second down and 18. Pretty good pressure at time by the Highlander unit. And Mike, that was a good foot, that was a good call by defensive coordinator Jim Moore. He saw the left defensive tackle Andrew Nolan kind of slanting over the center's nose, and, and he took the guard and center to that gap, and Gabe Gottschall went behind him, kind of an X stunt. With the loss, second down, 18, 7:24 remaining first quarter. Pump wants to go deep, has a man open right side. Stephen Russell on the Robert coverage does the first down across midfield in the Highlander territory at the 49-yard line. Stephen great Russell great play by Cock County. Stephen Russell, now number now five, the safety for the Highlanders. Bid down. on the pump fake. Thought they were going to throw the screen and stop and got beat deep. So first and 10, Cock County at the 49-yard line. 7.09, clock counting, first quarter from Cock County High School, opening game of the season for your Highlanders and Cock County. Quarterback draw again. And this tackle right there trying to get on the corner finally brought down across Carpenter the way. Keeps. I think that's numbers 52, Mac Taylor on the stop for the Highlanders. Austin Klein. And Mike had, a, had, a, had an opportunity for a no gain. You see Gabe Gottshaw, number 55. He's gain on the stunt seven, right there. And, and, had, and just absolutely got his head down and missed the tackle. And a good hustle by defensive end, Mac Taylor coming over and making the pl tackle on the sideline. Gain of seven on the play, second down, three, Cock County. Pressure throws. Left side of ball is going to be incomplete right there. Intended down the left side for Smith. Pass intended for Skyler Allen. It's incomplete. Like Allen for Third Cock and three for Cock County. Mike, we had a had a, a blitz coming off the edge over here on the back side. Almost got there, and uh, boy, that, that's frustrating for those pass rushers for that guy to get get the snap from shotgun, take a couple of steps, and throw it. And I tell you, my Cock County offense really taxing the, the Gatlinburg Pittman defense. They come out three wide. They come out. The receivers don't go to the huddle. Typically, one back set got the field spread. Big line splits. Quarterback rollout, right side looking throws. The ball's going to be complete for a first down at the 36-yard line. Cock County back in business. Got the drive still rolling, going. And they do. They've got well-designed passing game to get the ball Brought to a lot of different Steven players. Russell. And, Mike, you got to give it to that quarterback. I mean, he doesn't throw a pretty football, but he and gets it there. Watch him, and he's patient. Matthew he's reading the defense. Good job. Mike, one of the first times that we've seen a two-back set, a two-one set, and they gave it to the tailback on a Tower just Davidson a little on the isolation kid. play. Good job by the Highlanders. Game of two on the play. Also, we're off so far, with the Scott County, their success has been through the air. Not much running the football. Game of two, second down draw. and eight. Second down, eight, Scott County. 4.58 remaining first quarter here on opening night high school football. Here's
There's that screen, Rob, you talked about. Oh, nice stop right there. Who was that? Was that Mac Taylor from his, I know it's Gabe Gottschall, Rob. Number 55, Gabe Gottschall. Mike came out in a, in a hey, split back set, another 2-1 set, two, two running backs in the backfield, a tight end, running a little screen pass. Nice job by Mike Linebacker, number 55, Gabe Gottschall, reading it and then making a good open field tackle. Third and about 11. Mike, this is one of those teams where it's just hard to, you know, you want to gang, gang tackle and get a lot of guys on the ball, but the way they're spreading it out and distributing it, it's a, we're going to have to be great open field tacklers to keep the, hold this offense down. Loss of two on a play. That'll bring it back to the original line of scrimmage. Third down, 10, Cock County. And Cock County is going to call timeout. Rob, Penalty marker congratulations to the Highlander Middle School football team traveling over here to Cock County last night to defeat Paris. Timeout, Cock County. 24-22. So. Yeah, I was talking to Bobby Owens. Just we're just talking Once about again, the middle school program. I was telling him what a great job he's done over the years, and he, talking about this year's group. He said he doesn't have a lot of numbers, but the kids that he has out are really good football players. A lot of good athletes, a lot of good players, just not a lot of numbers. Rob, at this time I, I, I wish my lovely daughter Hannah a uh, happy 29th birthday. I told her to wood on the air. Of course, uh, 29 years ago yesterday. We were down at football. Of course, you weren't with us then, but we were down at Coker Creek. And, of course, I had to drive the extra car down there just in case I had to come back early. But I did make <laughs> it back on Thursday night. She was born on Friday. So, uh, congratulations, Hannah. Love you. Of course, of course, I did have the wonderful opportunity to spend a week at Coker Creek when I was a Highlander football coach. And Yeah, of course, you're right. Know, Rob talking about Hannah, you know, 29. But uh, when you first came up here in 89, she was four years old. Wouldn't have anything to do with you. Until one night, she let you hug her on the, the couch, and then uh, next week you miss all spring break with the chicken pox, right? <laughs> that's, exactly, that's true. Hannah Helton gave me the chicken pox, and I was about 30 years old. It almost <laughs> killed me. <laughs> all right, third down 10 after the Cock County timeout. Empty in the backfield. They're going to go to this wingman here on the right side. Going to be wide open in the middle. Rob, no bay on him right there. Pass complete to Cordell Stewart. I saw the I saw the uh, Cock County uh, coaches point to that guy. Well, one, one thing they're doing, I, I think they're trying to wait till we make our defensive call and coverage, and then they're lining up and the quarterback's looking to the sideline to see what coverage we're in. He's going lining up and check with me, down. and the coach is telling them where to go with the football. First down at the 24-yard line. Rob, a little slow pace of the football game tonight, and them not huddling, and they're not really speeding it up. They're just waiting to get that call from the sideline. Hand off the inside there, running room and more. That's Johnson at the uh, two-yard line, knocked out maybe Colin at the Ross one. I think it was spotted at the two, so it's going to be first and go, Cock County. And Mike, that's Blake just the Ogle with his advantage of those big line splits. You know, they get you teed off, fire. and, you, you know, they're passing every down, passing every down, big line splits, and they get us rushing upfield, thinking pass every play, and there you go, and then you – have a missed tackle. Missed right. tackle. You, Mike, you got, got to keep your head up and run through the tackle. You can't lunge. Of course, that's easy to say. It's about 92 degrees down on the field. Easy for me to say. Really easy for me. <laughs> you and I both of us are sweating like dogs. And we're drinking water every play. First and go at the one yard line. On the give, Cock County is going to get into the end zone. Touchdown. So Mike Cock County is taking the momentum in the early in the game. Well, Mike, the reports that we got from our Cock County connections are true. They, that's the best we've seen a Cock County team look in, in a long time. Check. Sure. 
on for an extra point coming up here. Snaps down. Kick is up, and the kick is Trevor good. After is you know, I, you got to give it to Cock County. He's got a pretty innovative offensive package, Mike, but their quarterback is just really executing what, the, what their coach is trying to get out of him, and they're spreading the ball around, uh, doing a good job with their pass protection, getting the ball off in time, and uh, so best, with, best Cock County offense we've seen in many, many years. So with 2.44 left in the first quarter, Cock County takes the lead on top of the Highlanders, 14 to seven. And Mike, this will have the, the Cock County fans out in force in the next few games. They'll, we'll have the Rugal's regulars walking the sideline. Trevor Vincent set to kick off. <laughs> Rob, I hope we get the, some scores going Carlos across Sweet the uh, wire tonight. There's a lot of times people will send them to us and everything like that, but uh, hey, you know. And Marty, we've Mike, we've been playing for uh, 30 minutes, and we still have three minutes to go in the first quarter. That's Sweeney right there. Cuts inside, back outside. Carlos, nice return up to the 37-38 yard line. Sweeney GP on return. back in offense for the third time tonight. GP basically not Rob, only five offensive plays. Gallenberg will go on offense. They the scored on the second play from scrimmage, and of course, last possession, they had a three and out. Rob, back to the basics right there. Two tight ends, a little music right there. Music on the give, music right side. Powers drives close to music another high level first down. Mike, that's Gatlinburg putting his jumbo Clevenger set, coming stop. out with three backs, got the big number 78, Zach Akey in there. Good line surge by the right side of the line. First and 10 for Gatlinburg. Enough by music, 10 yards exactly to pick up the first down for the Highlanders at the 49 yard line. Same set. Now they go end over right, unbalanced. Not much air, maybe back to Music the line. Music again with the carry. And Mike, you go, we go end over, like you say, unbalanced three back set. But one thing that you don't like to see when the ball, when the whistle Jonah is blown, a couple of our offensive carry. linemen are in the backfield. Some of their no defensive linemen are, in, are getting penetration and making the play. When, when they put, when they make penetration and bust up the, the two backs back there. The Not what you want to see. Second down, 10 Highlanders. GP having a little trouble getting the play in right there. Still two tight end set. Now they spread out uh, to Gillespie to the right. Looking looks real good right here to Zaquan, but it's music on a give. Music, not much air, Rob. Music carries. Well, I tell you, Rob, I'd come back with that same set and hit Gillespie on the look in right there. Popped and dropped by Robbie Mathis. But that's why we're in the broadcast booth <laughs> instead of on the sidelines. Loss of one on a play. Loss of Second yard, down, third 11. and 11. Like third and 11. Highlanders, 123 and counting first quarter. They trail Cock County 14 to 7. Mike Hamill on Rob Younger, Marty Nyson, Nicely, Kevin Tierney on the camera, and Randall Bryan on the replay. Ogle to the left, Sweeney to the right. Good hard snap count by Albert Warner. Penalty right marker on the play. Uh, GP's going to pick up five on this. And of course, Rob, right here, you get to, uh, you know, uh, third and uh, we'll call it six is much ma more manageable than third and 11. All sides against Cock County. My question is, do they stick with the same football play? Third and, and Mike, six. I agree with you. Zaquan Gillespie, number 12, is somebody we definitely need to try to get the football to. He's athletically one of the best guys we have. Warner on the look in, 
intended for. And Mike, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he thought, thought that Sweeney was not open because you saw him get ready Sweeney to throw, and he kind of held on to the football, and uh, and then and then kind of wound up again and throw it. By then, it was too, it was too late. I think GP's going to go in and punt the ball here. Clock stop. 50 seconds remaining in the. It's uh, fourth down. In the half. GP's second punt of the night. Marker on the play. Mike, I think that's a sideline warning. I think the first one sideline is just a warning, warning against it? Park County. First one's just a warning, or off second one is the penalty, I think. That's why you got to have that get back, coach. <laughs> well, I think it's the coach that needs to get back. I think it's probably the head coach. Music to up back. Lindsay and Allen. Been known, for been known to fake out of this situation. Waiting for the uh, head man to get it straight here. And Mike, I'm telling you, this is a, a different looking ball team than what we saw at the Jamboree last last Friday night. Music on the fake. Music driving. Rob still on his feet. Still on his feet, but he's going to be short. Going to be Cock County football Music at the 42 fake. yard line. Like a tremendous effort by, by Michael Music, but <laughs> it's short. Going to come up short. Cock County's going to take it's possession. Big red ball. Rob, GP. Yet First to stop Cock County yet. They, I think they need a critical uh, defensive series coming up. Remember, GP back at home to take on the Greenback Cherokees next Friday night at Legion Field Hammond Stadium, kickoff 7.30. And remember, you can see us broadcast on Channel 4 and Channel 80, the Peg Channel and the uh, Sphere County Board of Education Television Network on Saturdays at 11, Mondays and Tuesdays, make it Mondays and Wednesdays at 7. Quarterback draw, wants to draw. Boy, Rob just missed tackling. It is, Mike, and you can just, I, you can, <laughs> poor tackling conditions, just everybody's hot. You see kids lunging, getting their heads down, reaching Taylor for the tackles, not, get, not the getting there with their for, feet. For Gatlinburg. But that was an opportunity right Game there to, four, to put a big hit on the six. quarterback, and we missed out on it. So gain of four in a play, we'll call it second down six. Cock County here with 14 seconds remaining. May not get this playoff. They may just ready to run out, but uh, they are going to get it off here. Little trap inside there. A lot of running room. Driving, driving Colin across Ross the court. Carries. About 50 down inside the GP 45 for a first down at the 44. And Rob, that is the end of the first quarter. Gotcha. We'll tell you the tackle, score. But not Cock County 14. GP 7. And Mike Cock County just has a little wind, more wind score. in their cell tonight than Gatlinburg we do. We're just looking fatigued and uh, kind of coming out very flat on this on this road game opener. Cock County a little more excited. Of course, they got the momentum after that second touchdown, and they do not have nearly as many players, um, two-way players as the Highlanders. But a couple scores across the wire. Rob's Rear County up on Beard and seven to nothing at the end of one and. Uh, Pigeon Forge up on Cosby, 16 to nothing in the first quarter. Mike used to, we used to have people running piece of, pieces of paper to us, giving us scores from somebody's radio that somebody, now then it went to cell phones, now all the social media that we have. It's Twitter, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Rob, Cock County, eight rushes for 40 yards, GP, eight for 82. And, of course, the lion's share of that 82 yards was in the second play of the game with Music's long touchdown run. Marty, what's the passing yardage for uh, Cock County? Rob, about 116 yards through the air. 
for Cock County in the first quarter. Long hard snap count. Left side of balls will be incomplete out of bounds there. I'll tell you, Rob, like you said earlier, uh, intended for Skyler, uh, Allen, intended Cock County is waiting to call that play right at the end right Second there after they see the GP defensive uh, adjustment. Mike, I think I think that the, the coach on the sideline just has a num. I mean, he's holding up a hand, a number, telling the quarterback who to go to, but based on alignment and and probably matchups. Trips to the right. Option left side. Quarterback's going to keep it right there. Nice run up on the to keeper. the, or down to the, uh, we'll call it the 39-yard uh, line. Bring up third Tackle down and about, uh, we'll call it five for Cock County. 11.35 remaining first quarter. Third and five. You know, one good thing that Cock County does, they've got a, uh, they've got a very innovative offensive package. And, and you know, I kind of like the way they do their, wide receivers they're conserving a lot of energy there and those guys are kind of fresh leg but they they don't give away a lot of tendencies well you know they coming out in that one back set and 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 you really don't know which way they're going whether it's run or pass of course this is a new set we haven't seen quarterback's going to keep it quarter we got room he's got first down at the 30 and more down the left side still in bounds Finally brought down at the six yard line. Jordan Copperger carries with the keeper. Am I going to know one thing that they're going to work on at practice next week? Gotchow again with a stop. Tackle. Not before another. Got number Dr. 78, Aki here, at defensive end, and he low. takes the inside route and gives up his outside shoulder, a cardinal sin of a defensive end, and lets that quarterback get on the corner and, and, uh, the player's just, just reaching for guys. Huh? Finally brought down by, uh, Godshaw and uh, Chase Taylor for the Highlanders. First and go at the six yard line. Looking, 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 throwing, has the man open, touchdown. Touchdown, touchdown out there. That, that uh, receiver off put a pretty good move Take right there. Take a the with the reception. They just turned him inside out. And Mike, they're starting to make it look easy. And that, that quarterback's having a well of a night. And this is a totally different Cock County program than what we've seen in the past. Rob, I knew there was a whole lot better because all summer long, Scotty said and Carly wasn't saying anything about it. Got a whistle on a play right there. Marker on the field. I think like, that's going to be all sides on the Highlanders. Rob, you still kick it or do you go for two here? All sides against Gatlinburg is the call. You kick it, Rob. High snap, kick is up, and the kick is good. It's so here good. With 10-29 uh, remaining first half, Cock County's up 21-7. to Robert Taylor, a lot of Highlander fans are uh, in shock. I, I think the Highlander players are as well. I'm gonna get a look at the replay, and, and Mike, this quarterback just executes. They give him plenty of time. His guys are running good routes, and uh, he finds the open guy, but uh, like you said, he just put a great move. Oh, Noah Sims right there kind of got him turned around, and uh, good execution by Cock County. Of course, Pittman head coach, Benny Hammonds, assisted by Corey Boatman, Alan Cox, Matt Evans, Lee Hammonds, Ralph Kidd, Jim Moore, Rashad Moore, Zach Trent, Al Shirley, Jason Shields, and Paige Yates. Uh, trying to, to uh, pick up win number 327 in his career now. Mike, great, great page you had in the scanning report tonight, the list of um, active coaches, coaching record. Of course, Coach Hammonds uh, second on that list. 
Of course, uh, you haven't been down at the office this week. Uh, I, I did have a research off. staff doing all my stuff. <laughs> Tammy <laughs> Harrell, right? I noticed that Tammy Harrell's behind, behind all the work. As you get a good look at head coach Benny Hammonds over there. Rob still his a lot of 43rd football. season as a Highlander. He's been in this situation before. A lot of football left tonight here. Steven Russell deep this time for the Highlanders. Sweeney to the right. Short kick right there. I think it may have been uh, Blake Ugler right there. Mike Highlanders had pretty good field possession on these kickoffs. And yeah, it was number three on return, Blake Ugler. So, Rob, like you said, GP's had excellent field position to start their drives here tonight. Blake Ogle on return, brought down by Nick Shelton. First and 10 for Gatlinburg from their own uh, 38. Music blown up back, trips to the left side. Music swig, left side. Trying to get on the corner. Straight, cuts it up straight up field. Nice pickup of about nine. He, he close to the first down game. marker for Michael Music. Well, it looked like he hit like a little gap to turn it up right there, but uh, he saw tried to get on the corner. Justin Clevenger with the stop. As we look at the replay here. Of course, Rob, we're in the booth. Mike, right on, you, right on, you know, they, they ran it away from the tight end. They ran it in kind of a little slot set in number 33. Garrett Pack did not get the outside shoulder of that linebacker right there. And, of course, he's the one that got Music's face right away. Of course, Rob, on the play right there, face mask call against Cock County. We'll put the ball Resulting at midfield. First, mid and, 10 field, first and 10. For Gatlinburg at the 50. 12-11, make it 11-12. Rob, I get it straight, 10-11, remaining first half. Well, Mike, that's Cotton County coming across the neutral zone there. You know, think about it, Mike, with Michael Music. Give him a little bit of an opportunity, make a couple of blocks for him. Once people make contact on him, he is so hard to bring down, you're going to get face mask calls on him. All sides against Cotton County. So with first the all side penalty, the penalty against Cotton County, first and five Highlanders at the 45 yard line. Nice crowd on the, across the way for the Highlanders. Just a short drive over here to um, uh, Newport, and um, good crowd here tonight. Gillespie to the right side. They're looking for Zaquan. He's going to pump. Warner's going to cut it up. Cut back inside, back outside, back inside. First down, Albert Warner at the 38-yard line. Mike, good job by Albert right there. He was looking to throw the ball to Zaquan. He was the only receiver to this side of the field. He's covered. Didn't really have a second option to throw to. And there were no other receivers in the area. So he did a pretty, he did a great job pulling it down and running it and hanging on to the football. But you know, Robbie, Zaquan Gillespie was open that time, but Albert didn't have time to throw the football right there. Good job cutting it up. First and 10 at the 38-yard line. 9-17 remaining, first half. Timeout, Mike, it's just it, <laughs> amazing how many talented students that Mike Warner has had come through. Timeout, Children of his that have come through Gatlinburg Pittman High School. And, uh, you know, I was I was talking to somebody about that. You know, you go back and you think about, about Martha Warner, just one of the most talented people that have ever been through school there. And Michael. Back and in town this Nick. weekend for the Gatlinburg Songwriters uh, Festival. Okay. And then, and then his daughter who played last year, just incredible mm -hmm. athlete, two sports Mickey. star. They took it down to Mel, Mel, uh, Belmont University last weekend. <laughs> and of course, Nikki, and now you got Albert. And I was thinking, God, what? And then I now I know what the deal is. That athleticism comes from Cindy's family. Her <laughs> sisters in the hall, because I was Brady was went to a basketball camp at Sevier County High School, and I saw Sabrina S Sabrina Keaton. Then I, on the Hall of Fame wall, and then I realized that's Cindy's sister. Yes. So now we know where the athleticism comes from. Exactly. And don't forget little Sonny Wright coming up. She's, a, <laughs> she's an expiring uh, cheerleader and basketball player as well. All right. First and 10, 9, 10 remaining uh, first half from Cock County High School. GP behind two touchdowns, 21 to 7. Flex twins to the right-hand side. Russell the tailback. Flex looking at, at wide open right to the left side. That ball's going to be underthrown. 
And almost pulled in right there by, uh, I think it was number seven, Sweeney. Had an opportunity there. Pass intended for Sweeney, it's incomplete. Broken up by Hurst and Clevenger. Need a little more air in there right there. Of course, Rob, right here is a good time right here. Cock County thinks it's a uh, uh, pass and play here in second ten, but uh, who knows? Make name it, make him a little counter right here. That's Russell on the counter up the center. Stephen Russell down the field. <laughs> He's going to be into the end zone. Touchdown, Stephen <laughs> Russell, 37 yards. Stephen what Russell a football play! Carry. Great call by. Zach Schrent from the booth, good execution. And what a bullet out of the backfield, number five, Stephen Russell, a hey, senior Rob, who has had a good career here at Gatlinburg Pittman, one of my career, favorite players. He needed that play right there to make it a great career to start off the season right here and for his senior season. Of course, you know, he's starting at free safety this year. Nobody's going to start in front of Michael Music, but uh, he's one of those kids, one of the best weightlifters that we have. Great kids, see him all the time at Food City, just a, just a really good guy. Snap is down, kick is up, and the kick is good by Aaron Romero. And Mike, let's look at this right now. Watch, watch, watch how fast Stephen Russell gets from his tailback spot to the line of scrimmage. Your score hits with the eight minutes, 54 seconds left to go in the second quarter. Cock County 21, Gatlinburg Pittman 14. I tell you what we did, what I didn't see when the ball was snapped. I didn't see that Cock County had a lot of penetration in the backfield. Stephen Russell made a great cut right after he took the handoff. Great 37 yard run, 37 yard run by uh, Stephen Russell to make the deficit one touchdown. It might just like that, Highlanders back in the football game. Well, Rob, I tell you a great shot to watch, a place to watch the ball game. I don't know if Kevin can pick up on this, but uh, look at the, look up at the house, Kevin, <laughs> at the top of the hill right there behind the GP stands right there. You talk about a perfect tailgating place right there. <laughs> If we'd have known that, would have had I'd, dinner. I'd have brought my RV. Of course, that's a doctor's office right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hope we're still set up as we head out of here and I only have to drive. You could, that could be a drive through right there. All right, Romero to kick off for the Highlanders. Done a good job tonight. Allen deep for Cock oh, County. Romero is set to kick off. First deep. And who is it? Stephen Russell on the stop for the Highlanders. First on the return. He's pumped, Rob. <laughs> and you know, he made a big play in the Chase Jamboree Taylor last week from his free safety position. I can't remember exactly what offensive play Seymour ran, but he just did a great job filling the alley and just came up with a tremendous amount of speed and made a, made a good open field tackle. Maybe that offensive performance Talk by uh, offense Highlander offense in that last series bring his Highlander D to life. Mike got 78, Zach Akey at right defensive end, Music Nolan, Christian Moore, the big 6'6". Six, six, Junior playing the left defensive end. Got Shaw, Taylor inside linebackers. Delay a game. Marker on the play. And Mike, the way they're running this offense, I, I think that is going to be a delay a delay game. Delay of game is the call. Well, that's not what you want if you can't count, especially after a kickoff, you can't get the play in. <laughs> But uh, like I said, Rob, they're uh, you know they're waiting for the Highlanders to get set up, basically before they uh, uh, call their offensive play there from the sideline. Well, I think he's just got those guys set, seeing what kind of how we're going to line up. I think he's even looking for matchups. Trips to the right, long wide out to the left. Wants to throw the screen. That ball's going to be complete right there, and he's got a lot of green grass in front of him right there. Finally brought down by Blake Ogle at the 45-yard line. 
And Mike, we'll have to go back and watch the replays. Blake I'm not sure what Mike and Will Backer did right there, but you see, obviously our front four are involved in the pass rush. We had all, we had three linebackers involved in a blitz, so we didn't have a second level of defenders right there. They couldn't have called that at a better time. Great course, offensive pass call, course, play call Rob, by Cobb uh, County. That uh, the guy caught the ball to running back. It was two yards past the line of scrimmage <laughs> when he caught it. <laughs> Which you can be, but uh, linemen were down there with him. Wants to go deep, left side. That ball's going to be almost complete right there, going after the home run ball. Pass intended for Sam Hooper. It's incomplete. Second and ten. And Mike, what you get in a situation like this, when when you when you come out with this empty back sets, one back set, and spread across the field, you're forced to play a lot of man defense. So the coach can look from the sideline and try to create mismatches with speed or height, and uh, and try to pick on somebody. Maybe you got a new guy in there. But, but you're almost just forced to play man in this situation. Of course, one thing that, that is that we are doing, especially with Michael Music in there, and you see these linebackers getting ready to stunt the A-gaps, we have been putting, to putting some hits on the quarterback. And Option right side. Pitch out there, good defense by the Highlanders. And, Mike, that's how, that, that is how field. you play option football. Textbook, and that, 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 that was a nice job. Let's get a replay the right there. And I, I'm, I'm guessing it was the defensive end. You see you see somebody come up, the quarterback's lined up, and got a one-back set. He's no going to go to his right. For County. See Christian Moore come up, take the quarterback. Then you got... Gabe Gottschall scraping the pitch. You got Zagon Gillespie coming up on run support and probably Carlos Swinney, but you get three of Stephen Russell filling the alley. So you got three or four guys right there on the football. Beautiful defensive play. I saw Zaquan at school once. I said, buddy, on that option, you got to come up from that uh, outside back position, put a lick on that uh, running back. Uh, rolling left side, looking, looking, wants to throw deep. Right side ball's underthrown. Right, turn around, turn around. I don't think. Crowd wanted the defensive <laughs> interference right there as Al Bounds. I tell you right there, I think uh, if uh, Oakland Passing turned around, he may have a chance to pick that ball out. Complete. It's fourth down. And Mike, the Highlanders have held the Fighting Cox on downs. So Newport will break. Will bring on their punting unit for the first time tonight. Clark County in punt formation. Trevor Vincent set the punt. Zeke deep number seven. Carlos Sweeney at his 25-yard line. You know one thing about Carlos Sweeney, Mike. I mean, he he's, he has made made some mistakes the last couple of years he's had a couple penalties called on him but he is a com a competitive player he's a gamer and he you know he wants to make a play and he will make several plays every football game uh oh they're gonna have to get a man over here to cover we got three over here he may fake it right here high snap pressure almost blocked right there stay away from it gp it takes a, it's gonna be down at the 38 yard line again gp Good field position to start this offense. Well, so, we're going to have to work it next time Cock County punts. They're going to throw to that open guy. Of course, yeah, yeah. defense coordinator Jim Moore spotted that problem from Gattleberg the Gatlinburg will take over from their own 38-yard line. Hey, Mike, I hate that it's a hot and humid tonight because I, I thought I thought Gatlinburg Pittman just had some pep in their step last Friday night at the Jamboree. I thought we were one of the best-looking units down there, freshman, JV, and varsity. But boy, being a two-way player in a, in a night like this is tough. Moore tied in right. Ogle split to the left. Stephen Russell this time. Boy, Rob, we just missed some blocks right there. Stephen Russell and Mike carries. One thing, Coach Bettern, offensive line coach, Former offensive in lineman Matt Evans is trying to get some substitutes in there, playing some different people. Loss of three, second down Loss and thirteen. Loss of three on a play, second down, thirteen here with six thirty-eight and counting in the first half at Hedrick Field, Larry Williams Stadium, Newport, Tennessee, Cock County High School. Zaquan Gillespie to the right. Warner in the flat to Russell. Maybe Last a pick up a to Russell. play right there. Bring up third Tell down and about 12. Cox. 
Albert just did a great job getting rid of that football. I mean, he had pressure and. One, th one thing we haven't really gotten in an offensive flow where we're just moving the chains, moving the chains, where we can really distribute the football around and, and try to get the ball. I know that offensive game plan is trying to get the ball to some different players like Sweeney and Carlos and, and um, Warner. Saquon. Warner looking, has a man downfield. That's going to be Sweeney. Oh. 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 Great defensive play. Just a great defensive play. You know, Mike, pretty good, really pretty good throw by, by Warner. Sweeney did a great job running his route, getting open. Might have been a tad underthrown, but still a pretty good football play. But but you just got to say that was just a great play by the defensive back of Cock County. And, and I tell you, Mike, just looking at that's just a great football play. That ball would have been right on the money. And uh, one, one thing I did like watching the play, kind of watching a good play call, but Albert Warner just kind Marker of kind of looked play. flawless with his technique, rolling out, got his shoulders, had just a, just really good technique there. Let's see what this call is. Illegal substitution for the Highlanders. Substitute infraction is called against Gatlinburg Pittman. So Ogle to punt it away. 525 remaining first half. Short kick. Let's hope to take a GP row. It is going to, well, row dead at the 34-yard uh, line. So Cock County back on offense. Not a bad punt, Robert. Cock County going offense on their own 34. Number 11, Ryan Garza covering the punt. You know, Mike, he's an interesting, uh, interesting player. He's he is a. Was watching him and his brother in the jamboree last week. They they're good football players. Now, did did he play? Then he didn't play for a couple years, and now he's back. Is that? I think it's his first year out for football. Really? He's a good-looking football player. I think he just played middle school, did not, has not played in high school until this year. Also, first and 10, Cock County. A little motion, motion right there. I think this is going to come back right there. Two, the backs, to two backs moving at the same time, Rob. Sweeney with the stop. Marker In on the play. games involving other county teams tonight, Pigeon Forge is at Cosby, Sevier County at Beard. Motion penalty is Seymour called against Cox County. North. I don't know if that's in the backfield, Rob. It could have been in the line. I like that. <laughs> You know, one, one thing, I, I, I keep trying to figure out Cock County why they're going with these line splits, especially that right guard split and their angle blocking, and, and they're getting our guys to take a side, and then they're just kind of running us out of the play. But they see those three. Same play right there on uh, first Davidson and Davidson again 15. with a carry. A couple of scores of interest. Seymour up on top of Sullivan North, 14 nothing at the end of one. And Sevier County up in the second over Sevier, Can uh, or Beard. Sevier County up on over Beard and Rob. Zach A. one another and Cosby losing to Pigeon Forge 23 to nothing. Second and 11. We got a good one going here. Second down 11, fourth 27 remaining first half. Quarterback row out right side looking, looking, looking. And he's going to be. Uh, it's hard to say he dumped, but he gets away right there, being chased right there. Still on his feet, up to the 47-yard line. Mike, down. Mike our, our defensive keeper. players are just, just reaching to make the tackle, tackle trying to make, make a hand tackle. <laughs> you, you just, you, you just got to get there with your feet. And, and, and you see um, the younger Taylor right there and, and just great opportunity to make a big play and a big hit on the quarterback and he just reaches for him tries to grab his jersey with his hands instead of just getting there with his feet and making the tackle. Let's say there's going to be some coaching going on on Mon Monday's practice. 
So spot the ball at the Cock County 48 yard line, first and 10. Cock County trying to get on the board again here before halftime. Staying with the ground game. Got running room right there. Nice pickup of about four yards down to the Jameson 48 the yard line. Mike, sometimes you wonder, wonder if high school players stop. pick up some bad habits watching television on Saturday and Sunday. Gain of four, second down and we'll call six. We'll second down six, 320 and counting, first half. Remember at halftime, watch the fine performance of the GP marching band under the direction of Ben Norvell, assisted by Mark Harrell. Mike, a lot of new players getting into the game. Coglin getting in at tackle, and you see number 21, who I think is a kid that's going to help us as the season goes along. Hinton coming in at the defensive end spot. I think he's going to be a good offensive player for us. There's a pitch right there. Nice pull in right there. Nice run. Going to be short about three yards. That'll bring up third down. We'll call it a long two, maybe Davidson three for Coglin. And Mike, you see Carlos Swinney, number seven, getting up off the ground. And, and, and as a team, you Carlos just can't Swinney rely on Carlos stop. to make every every tackle on the football field. You see him making tackles between the tackles. Game of three, a, third from down. From his three. outside linebacker spot. But you you got to have some other guys getting there and wrapping up and making plays. Third and three, Rob. Maybe two down territory for Cock County. Full backfield, long snap count. Just a handoff right there, no gain right there. Nice stop by the GP front right there. Music along with uh, Carlos Sweeney on the stop. Can I tell you? Purple carries. You, you know, Music was one of the best defensive tackles in our league last year. But you know, in a night like this, we're, we've got to have him carrying the football. How many reps do you want to get him in there? Correction, the defensive Lefe tackle with a carry. It is fourth and three. See number 21, Hinton is Gabe Hinton. And you know, he made a catch last week in the Jamboree. Was, I don't know if it was the JV quarter or if it was the varsity quarter, but um, I, you know, he's very athletic, good basketball player for the Highlanders, can go up and get the ball. Rob, I think they're just going to take a delay right now. Timeout, Kyle County. Timeout here, fourth and three, 128 remaining first half. Mike, I don't think they're going to punt. I think they're going to. They're going to try to score again before one the half. Last time before halftime, if you'd like to see Chief Rodriguez do the County, ice bucket uh, challenge, one, uh, I've seen the bucket earlier. There's the plenty half. of room in there for a little extra money. They're located at the T-shirt concession stand, located at the 30-yard line. Please go contribute to this very worthy cause for ALS. Also, our concession stand has five and six dollar meal deals. Go check them out. It's a very good price. So we're all fourth and three. Cock County uh, may have a long snap count here to try to draw the Highlanders off. Nope. Quarterback Rose looking, looking throws. That ball's going to be incomplete right there. So the yeah. Highlanders take over on downs at their own over the two yard line. I'll put in time left. You know, Mike, I don't, I don't know. It seems like as the half has Gallagher gone on go in these last couple of possessions, the Highlander defensive backs have done a little better job with their coverage. I don't know if they're kind of coaches and players are, are kind of getting comfortable learning what Cock County is trying to do, but it seems like we're just doing a little bit better job with our pass coverage. Well, we may have a lot to do at halftime, which team hydrates the most. <laughs> and of course, I remember you saying a million times when you were coach, don't get beat deep. <laughs> don't get beat deep. <laughs> Twins right for the Highlanders. Carlos on reverse, one man to beat. Nice block out there by Warner. Carlos left side, <laughs> still on his feet, down to the 21-yard line. Hey, <coughs> great. And, and we tossed, I said a while ago, Carlos is a reverse. competitor. He's a gamer. He's going to make Brought you a, a few good plays. I tell you, 
Result of the play, first and ten. <laughs> Mike, great blocking on the play right there, but watch number four, quarterback Albert Warner leading, the, leading the sweep. Rob, you told me to watch these uh, <laughs> seats right here, and I fell off. Mike, great Damn. football play. Good call, good execution, good run by Sweeney. and. <laughs> So now I'm an Albert Warner fan after, that's, after that's seeing right. that. Okay, I, quarterbacks well, block downfield. First and ten at the 22, under a minute to play. Russell on the crossbuck, cuts back inside. Stephen still on his feet. Nice run down inside the 15-yard line to the 14. Two timeouts Russell left. Russell on the give, again, one. brought down by Sam Hooper. What, Rob, I, I did wipe out. <laughs> Timeout, Gallenberg. And it, and it was funny. It was funny. So GP, one time out left here after this and 44 seconds remaining first half. Good look at Coach Benny Hammonds, Coach Matt Evans, Rashid Moore, Alan Cox, Paige Yates. Ralph Kidd. And Mike, I think we've got a great combination on this coaching staff. you got some really young guys that are enthusiastic and, and learning to be good football coaches, and then you got you got three guys that are veteran coaches that have been head coaches before. And then, of course, the second winning is head coach in the state of Tennessee, Benny Hammonds, in his 43rd year. Of course, Rob, right now with Romero kicking as well as he has been doing. And as his talent, we're in field goal range as well. And, Mike, we, didn't, we couldn't even pronounce field goal last year. <laughs> If I was right here, Rob, I'm, I'm a, you don't, maybe you got one time out left, you, you, uh, uh, third and three, Cock County thinks it's a run play. You, you know, this may be a good time to come back like a little uh, hook pattern or comeback pattern or uh, a flat pass. So I wanna help. I formation, music to tailback. Warner fakes. Rolls her out right, looks, 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 throws the football right there, complete right there. Now they're going to say no. incomplete. And now they're going to get him for roughing, uh, uh, gonna, uh, for roughing Warner, I think. You know, Mike, wasn't Pass great. It was not great more. pass protection. Warner had to really, on the play. really get on it just to get the ball on the edge to throw it. I thought it was a completion. I guess obviously no, not. No, they said incomplete Inc right there, but Warner was the roughing the passers. The call against Cock County. Get another play on that, Randall. Here we go as we look at the replay. First and goal from the eight. Oh, you know Warner showing this, showing some speed and good footwork there, Mike. He couldn't have placed that ball any better. Music on the pitch. Music. Hurry, hurry, on ball, second leg. On ball, on ball. Down to the two yard line. Music on the carry. And Mike, one thing I don't like to see, I'm seeing some players cramp, and you see Gottschall coming out of the game with the cramp. Time out, Gottschall. And Mike, that was close. Okay, ball's on the three yard line. GP's last time out left, or did Cock County take it? Second and goal from the three when play resumes. Second three here, Rob, but no timeout. So if you run a run play, you don't go get in. Do you spike the ball and maybe get your field goal unit in or try, try to punch it in? It'll be tough to line up for two plays right there at 24 seconds left. Mike, they're, they're going to try. I mean, I, we're going to try to get two plays off here. What's, what we're going to try to do is get big Michael Music behind a good block by Garrett Pack, number 33, right there. And he's just going to bully his way into the end zone. Those Touchdown, five, those five, those five guys right there the are not going to stop that one guy right carry. there from getting that three yards. Carried five guys <laughs> into the end zone. Uh, so, GP, one point away from tying it up. I tell you, Rob. Mike, you got Perfect on the night. It says a lot about the Highlanders. Highlanders could have folded their tents because Cock County had the momentum, was throwing the ball all over the field. 
went up by two touchdowns and uh, the Highlanders, it's just kind of state focused and good job by the coaches in the booth and on the sideline and it just kind of clawed their way back into it. Snap is down, kick is up, and the kick is good. Romero. So here with 19 seconds good. left, we're all tied here, 21-21. With 19 here at seconds County. left to go in the first half, we're tied at 21. Rob, GP's fault back. Here's a replay right here. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Rob, GP's fault back right here, but I guarantee you they're going to get a good talking to at halftime by head coach Benny Hammonds. I know you know he's not pleased with the entire effort of this during this first half. Now, Rob, again, right this is where you squib kick it, right? Remember Galbert Pittman Band coming up at halftime under the direction of Ben Norvell, assisted by Mark Harrell. Rob, I may be able to get you a lot of scores here at halftime. Mike, we don't have to wait on runners coming from a radio out in the parking lot with a piece of paper running running those scores back and forth to us. Hey, and next week we got a new system down. The fans will really want to know this. Deep for Cock County. A new committee to select the players Justin of the game. Clevenger. We're taking it out of our hands. Set to kick off for Romero. It's Allen at the seven. Got a gap. Finally brought down. Jack Lindsay on the return. So Mike, I, I'm telling you, we're just <laughs> Carlo, Carlo Sweeney again. I mean, he's made pretty much every tackle this game. Rob, right here, we're going to play bend but don't break. Bend but don't break here. Cock County, one time out left. 11.6 seconds remaining. Ben break, just don't get beat deep. Car County goes on offense on their own, 43. Carlos, over here. Mike got one guy covering two here. Throws deep, that ball's gonna be caught. At the five-yard line. And, Mike, there are penalties on the line of scrimmage yeah, back here. Yeah. Time has expired. And, and, Mike, we were. I Jim, think it's past the line of scrimmage. There is a marker on the play. I think it's past the line of scrimmage, Rob, when he threw the football. I, I, he was definitely beyond the line yeah. of scrimmage. Awful dang close. But it's, and, when, you see two, when you see two flags called. <laughs> And Mike Highlander's got a break there. They had a breakdown in alignment. They had one guy to cover two. We had one guy uncovered. And Coach Jim Moore coming out of the press box, yelling, going crazy, trying to get somebody over there. Quarterback saw it and made a great play. Unfortunately, he was beyond the line of scrimmage. And, uh, well, the Highlanders get a real break here. That's the half, Rob. So from uh, Cock County High School, well, no, it's an untimed down. My bad, my bad. Second and 15, one untimed down. Timeout, Cock County here on second 15. Timeout, Cock County. Long half tonight. Rob, I say if you're Cock County right here, maybe a quarterback draw, maybe a screen. Or maybe you just want to go deep. Good look at the Gatlinburg Pittman sideline. Coach Lee Hammond's there. 
coaching up his linebackers, telling them to get back. Great look at a hot, sweaty Gatlinburg Pittman fan base there. Nice crowd across the way. Second down, 16. There won't be a third down, so uh, Cock County trips to the right, empty backfield, twins to the left. He's going to be dropped by Music. Number 42, Michael Music. <laughs> Great job by his, def from his defensive tackle. Always, always makes the play when we need it, Mike. Half, your score. And Rob, that's the end. 21, Gallenberg, 21. We'll be back for the second half kickoff. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the field of the Gallenberg Pittman High School Band. This year's show is entitled Off Broadway. The band will perform No One Mourns the Wicked from Wicked and the music of the night from the Phantom of the Opera. Drum Major Lexi Henson, band captains Ashita Misty and Jennifer Papworth. Drum Captains Jacob Gentry and Alex Cavender. Color Guard Captain Emily Crockenbush. The band is under the direction of Benjamin Norville and Mark Harrell. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Gatlinburg Pittman High School Band.
Tell him to. I'm ready. Marty Nicely here at halftime where we have a 21-21 tie between the Gatlinburg Pippen Highlanders and Cock County. Unofficial first half statistics. Cock County with 11 first downs, passing 8 of 14 for 140 yards, rushing 17 attempts for 99 yards. Total offense in the first half for Cock County, 239 yards. Discount cards for $10. Cock County punted the ball one time for 18 yards, fumbled one time and recovered their own fumble. They were penalized nine times for 63 yards. For Gallenberg Pittman, five first downs, passing only one of six for minus one, rushing 16 attempts, 189 yards, total offense 188 yards. GP punted for two times in the first half for 34 and a half yard average, were penalized three times for 17 yards. Scoring summary for Cock County, 9.52 left to go in the first quarter, six yard TD pass point after was good. At that point, it was tied up 7-7. 2.50 in the first quarter, one yard TD run, point after was good. Cock County led 14-7. Then with 10.29 left to go in the second quarter, six yard TD pass point after was good. Cock County led at that time 21-7. For Gallenberg Pittman, first quarter, 11 08. Music, 62 yard run, point after was good. GP led 7 to nothing. Second quarter, uh, 8.50 to go. A 37 yard run by Russell, the point after was good. GP trailed 21 14. And then with 19 seconds left in the first half, Michael Music on a three yard run, the point after was good, brings us to the halftime score of 21 21. And we're about ready for the second half to start, and we'll go ahead and turn it back over to Mike and Rob. Back here at uh, Hedrick High School, Hedrick Field, rather, Cock County High School, Larry Williams Stadium, Stadium getting ready to start the second half of tonight's ball game. Bring you uh, just a few scores of update at halftime. Uh, Pigeon Fours on top of Cosby, 51 to nothing. Spear County on top of Bearden, 21 nothing. Fulton on top of Powell. 48 to 3 and Seymour on top of Southern North 27 nothing at the half. Rob, you know, we was able to step out during halftime. It's still pretty dang humid out there. It is. I saw defensive coordinator Jim Moore walking up the steps. I said, Jim, I have no idea which direction this game is going to go in the second half. I know one thing. I'm glad I'm not playing or coaching in it. And I, one thing that's going to be interesting to me, Mike, is see what kind of condition Cock County's in. They they don't have as many guys going both ways as we do, obviously. And um, I mean, it's been a tough first half on the Highlanders but uh, but overall and typically year in and year out we are a more well conditioned team than just about everybody we play. I think the Highlanders did have one injury right there Rob I, I couldn't tell who that was walking off the field right well, there. Well Mike I did see Gabe Gutshaw limping off the field but I thought it was a cramp I you know he's a guy that we're going to need to keep in there 21-21 Rob all locked up here at Cock County High School. Remember, GP back at home next week, taking on the Greenback Cherokees. Kickoff, 7.30. Of course, GP will have three home games. I'm, I'm sorry, Rob. I'm on no one. Uh, Cock County will be Three more away games, six home half. games uh, this season. Deep for Cock County, Jake Lindsey and Keyshawn Hurst. Aaron Romero to kick off for the Highlanders. Been a big factor, and a nice surprise here, Rob. Uh, GP, pretty good kicking game. Uh, Blake Ogle averaged 34.5 yards in the punting game. Romero, perfect on the night, PATs, and had some good kickoffs. And, hey Mike, I am very impressed with him and, and happy to have him on our football team. Romero set to kick off for Gatlinburg. As you get a good look at number 25 right there, Romero. Got their soccer shoes on, Rob. Hey, it <laughs> hey, as long as he kicks like that, we don't care if he has ballet slippers on. <laughs> and, you know, Mike, there, there have been times in the last few years where, you know, a, an opportunity to kick a field goal could advance, in the, advance you in the playoffs or, or win a game here and there, and uh, you got to have a guy like that on your football team. Angles it towards the sideline. That's Allen at the nine. 
trying to get back to the center. Nice coverage nice right coverage. there by good. the Highlander unit. Mike, good job everybody staying on the level they're supposed to stay on, st converging on the Lindsay football, on the staying return. in their lanes, getting off blocks. Good kick, good coverage. David rolling along with Zaquan Zaquan Leslie, Leslie on the tackle. Stop. And Mike, you have to think when Romero gets home in front of a home football crowd on that beautiful turf at the Highlander at, in, in Gatlinburg, Hammonds Field, that uh, he might put a few of those into the end zone. Cock County going offense on their own 28 yard line. And Mike got Christian Moore defensive end. You got Hinton, the newcomer basketball player, at the other end. Cock County on the ground. And Mike Gabe Gottschall is back in the football game for the Highlanders. Dang Dang up to the 31 the yard line. Number 73, Andrew Nolan, a three year starter who has done a great job for us at that right tackle spot. Playing defensive Nolan tackle after the stop. departure of Holden Daniel Norton three, and uh, doing a great job right there. Kind of a, an unmovable object. The, Second down seven, Cock County. That's Tyler make, Davis again with the I think he may be a little short of the first down, but there is a flag down here. So what the call is, and I think it's going to be a base mask against the Islanders. Mike Cock County coming out in tighter formations, running the football. That surprises me, Rob. Mm -hmm. They had very face successful first half against. throwing the football. Gatlinburg Pittman. Remember, you can see the broadcast on Five Saturday mornings penalty. at 11, Mondays at 7, and Wednesdays at 7 on Channel 4, the Peg Channel, downtown Gatlinburg, and Channel Result 80 the on play the Sierra County Educational TV down. So it is enough for the first down at the 43-yard line. On the run again right there. It might good just defense. a fantastic play by Carlos Davis Sweeney. What, maybe we can get a replay right here. Good penetration, good stunt by the onside Mike linebacker. But what's Carlos Sweeney coming on a, what I would just call a cat stunt, coming off Stop the edge the right here. You see Carlos creeping up to the no line game. of scrimmage. Watch him come right 10. off that tackle's hip and For boom, right in the backfield. No gain on the play, second down 10. Cock County, 10-24 remaining third quarter. It's going to be interesting when you to have total tackles at the end of the game, how many he's going to have. All right, here we go, Rob. Second and ten, probably a passing down for Cock County. How about option left side? First down and more. The music runs him down. Tyler Davidson on the pitch. So Cock County's come out Music with a different game with a plan in the second half but running the football. It might get well executed play by Cock County. One thing that Cock County did great, watch the two receivers at the top of the screen doing a great job running off our receivers and then getting in on blocks. And, uh, you know, the thing is, Mike, when you're forced to play man coverage, it, you know, it's, it takes a lot away from your run defense, and those receivers ran our guys First off and, and got the, the pitch on the corner Denver. and a good positive play by – Cock County. Well, Rob, you don't want defensive tackles making that tackle. That you do not. It's, it's amazing where you had several guys that had the angle on that guy, and Michael Music is First, the one that ran him down from his defensive tackle spot. First down at the 15. And, Mike, there's Michael Music making another play. <laughs> Along with just, just, just go back and maybe watch the replay right here. Just, just watch the strength and the and the pad level and the good defensive tackle play by number 42 on that pass previous play. And Mike, this is after running a 50-yard sprint chasing down the ball on the option. But watch right here. Watch pad level get off the get off his block and just make a great tackle for a loss right there. That's why he's named preseason All State at defensive tackle. No game on the place. All State. Right? All State. Yeah. No gain on the play. Second down, 10. Cock County. Continuing on the ground right there. Nice run. Inside the five, ten Love yard line, on the right at the seven yard line. And that's going to be a with first a and go, I think. It's another Dr. Michael, that, Mike, that's just a good double team on Andrew Nolan by guard and tackle. 
and kind of got back there in the lap of the linebacker and a uh, good job by Cock County offensive line. So first and go Cock County at the five yard line, 8.30 remaining third quarter. Looks, throws, that ball's gonna be intercepted. No! No way! Absolutely no way. Both players went up for the football. Our player came down with the ball. They're not. They're going to call double possession. Goes to the offensive player. One of the worst football calls I have seen in years. Absolutely gave Cock County a touchdown right there and took a turnover away from the Highlanders. Great defense by Gillespie. Mike, that was number three, Blake Ogle. And this is just unbelievable. Let's get a replay of this right here, Randall. Here it is in slow-mo. Oh. He never has possession. Blake Ogle had inside position, went up, had the ball trapped against his body. Absolutely one of the worst football calls. Hey, Randall, how about that again in slow mo? You know, the thing is, there, the, the official that called touchdown was halfway across the end zone. They had an official right there watching the play that did not make a call. One more time, Randall, one more time. Here it is, guys, here it is. Mike, inside Trevor position, Vance goes up, both hands on the football. Has the ball trapped on his body. Cock County's players on the ground with no possession. The guy, the guy and the, the guy right, right there. there looking did, at it. And, the, and the official that made the call came from across the end zone to make it. We got Rook right there, Rob. Justin Clevenger to hold. Rob, this may be one of those plays that go down, goes down to the TWS to blade just for review. Vincent's point after is good. Your score with eight minutes, nine seconds left to go in the third quarter. Cock County, 28, Gatlinburg Pittman, 21. Rob, what can you say? Hey Mike, that's one that leaves a bad taste in your mouth. You know, you had the opportunity to stop the touchdown, change of possession, went up, made a big play. See Coach Lee Hammonds talking to the offensive team right there. Mike, I want to see us get the ball to this guy right here, number one, two. Gillespie. I think, that, I think that he's probably just got another gear that a lot of guys don't have. Sophomore, got good hands. 6 0, 160. Of course, we do. He has moved back into the one of the three deep guys. They split up right before the kick here. Vincent yet set to kick off. That's going to be Gillespie at the 21. Oh, there you are. Oh, That's nice a, return. And Mike, just a great return. Just, to, I mean, he's got a burst of speed. He's an athlete. Nice Not afraid. Up to the 41 yard line. Gillespie yeah, he's not, you know, he's not afraid to be burst. physical either. I know in the Jamboree, one of the first plastic on plastic pops that I heard all the way to the press box was him. Come, coming up and taking on a sweep. So GP on offense, first time here in the second half, 8.03 remaining, down seven points at their own 41-yard line. Albert 
Has to pull it up, fake it. Albert, nice run down inside Mike. Highlander territory or Cock County territory at the 46. Mike, great, great play by Albert. You know, you, he, he looks up and he's looks his first receiver's covered, looks for somebody else, nobody's there. The thing is that he saw an opening in front of him, made a good positive play out of nothing. Was... Mike Albert showing a little speed. I, he's a little faster than I thought he was. Six, first Robbie, six foot up to 205 now. Nothing, Stephen Russell. You know, thing about Albert, he's a worker. You know, he went to a camp um, all last winter and spring. Stephen Russell on the You'd carry. drive by the stadium and they'd be out there on Sundays working on, working on his technique, throwing the football. See Coach Lee Hammonds out there watching him. Loss of four on the play. Loss of four, second down and 14. Marker on the play. Illegal substitution against Gatlinburg Pittman. Austin Klein Second checks in and the back. Second and 19 after Highlands. the penalty. So it's going to be second down, 18. Make that 19 for the Highlanders. And Mike, that play was going to Zaquan Gillespie. He had a tremendous Warner cushion the over there, and he was going to catch the ball with a one-on-one -on -one open field. With a tackle. Looks like that's big uh, Andrew Nolan down with a little cramp right there. Third, third and 19 for Gatlinburg Pittman. So timeout on the field for Scott Burt, head trainer Scott Bird, director of sports medicine and top medical. Injury timeout on the field. I think they're going to let uh, both teams water down right here. Let them hydrate, Rob. Third down, 17 Highlands. And Mike, we've had a wonderful fall camp like you talked about. Great weather. And then the first ball game, second hottest day of the year. Tell you one of the coldest days of the year. You know, we we did we you know we we started out following this GP football team back in in the spring when it was uh, fortunate to go to uh, a coaching clinic up at Notre Dame, and uh, I learned a lot up there. <laughs> but I think the game may have passed you and I by. I think it has. Yeah, you get past a two tight end wishbone formation. <laughs> You're kind of passing me by. Warner wants to screen it, wants to go deep now. Down the left side of balls. Oh! Intended right there for number 33, Garrett Pack. And, and Mike, I saw that. I saw that play developing. And I saw that opening right there. Garrett Pack quit running his route, and I don't know if he quit Pass running it because Albert was scrambling or what. But Albert, complete. Albert knew where the, where the ball was down. supposed to be, and that that we had an opportunity for a big play right there. So Gatmer Pittman will have to punt it away here with 6:22 remaining in the third quarter. Jake Lindsey deep for Carr County. A lot of penetration blocked by Cock County. Jonah Freeman recovers the block punt. And Mike, when it rains, it pours. The Highlanders have a man back of the field cramping up. Right injury there. timeout on the field. Injury timeout on the field. 
Can't tell what that number is from here. It's number 10, Chase Taylor. Starting inside linebacker for the Highlanders. As you get a good look at head trainer Scott Bird out there along with his staff. If I can come across some scores of interest right here. As we have an injury timeout. Sevier County up 28 nothing over Bearden. 328 remaining in the third quarter. Chase Taylor shaking up on the play for Gallenberg Pittman. Fulton up on top of uh, it's first and Al, 10 for Gatlin, to three. Excuse me, for Cock County at the Gatlinburg 30. So Cock County, good field position at the Highlander 30 yard line after the block punt. Cobb County keeping it on the ground. Nice Tyler run down Davidson to the 25 yard line. Gillespie with a stop for Gatlinburg. Might get a few new players in their new position. See number 11, five, Ryan Garza coming into the game County. in a linebacker position. Probably in there for uh, Chase Taylor. Of course, it worries you. Gabe Gottschalk left the game at the, before the half with cramps in his calves. and. He's back out Actually, there. Mike, they've got guards that kind of lined up there at a defensive tackle spot, giving us a little bit different look. Got a five, five down lineman. Nice play by Christian Davidson Moore. Again with the carry. Six, six, 215-pound defensive end. Christian I tell you, Mike, Moore I walked into the tackle. weight room back, back in the winter just kind of watching winter workouts, and that's the first guy that you saw when you walked into the weight room. He really looks good. Gain of four, third and one. Gain of four and play, third down one, Cock County. Yeah. Looks like they're going to pick it up right there. Rama, I haven't seen Mac Taylor. And Mike, I don't he, know if he's he, unavailable, if he's he got injured, but the guy was walking off at halftime, didn't have his jersey on. Oh, maybe that was him. Mike. Tyler Rice on the number, give, number music with the yeah. stop. But not before another Dr. Matthew Kicklider first down. So 52 is out of the game with injury. Court. Okay. So it's going to be first and 10 ball at the 17 yard line. They got the 18 yard line, 430 and counting in the third. Steven, Steven. Little trap draw right there. Oh, good stop inside by 73 Andrew Nolan along with uh, 89 Christian Moore. Davidson on the game. Mike, you Christian know that's kind of that's kind of a play you just don't see anymore. It used to be a staple of a lot of a lot of football teams, but just don't see a draw play in high school football that often. Gain of three, Great job by Andrew and Nolan seven. and uh, Christian Moore. Andrew Nolan, tough kid. You know, he's playing with those leg cramps, playing both ways, double duty, 325-pound player. Ball's going to be incomplete right there. Stephen Russell on the coverage of the Highlanders. Mike, I'm not sure. Some good, good, good pressure up front, and you know we were talking earlier. You know this quarterback, even though he's had a heck of a game and, and made a lot of plays, he has taken a lot of hits during this football game, and there's one of them had great pressure on him, and the way he's he's, you know, he's, he's, he's cramping, he's cramping yeah. I don't. Rob, I've had those before. <laughs> hey, I get them now from mowing the yard. <laughs> In 
injury time out on the field. Maybe a lot more cramping than nine anyway uh, later in the game, Rob, simply because of uh, it's, it's still very humid out there. One score update, Fulton up 69 to three over Powell with uh, 249. One more time, the, the Cock County High School pink out game will be October 3rd. Get Sevier your County pink out up on top of here 35 to nothing. They have short sleeves as well as hoodies. Tables located beside the concession stand. Mike, these are official water breaks. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure the TWSWA talked to all their officials about hydration, heat, exhaustion. I know the Gatlinburg Equipment and Girls Highlander soccer team if, who defeated Sevier County today down at the Sevier County Tournament 4-1. to one. You know, I went to the game last night and uh, wasn't as hot as it was tonight, but they had two scheduled water breaks 20 minutes in there. I guess you call them hydration breaks. Mike, I think we got another break right there. I think Highlanders weren't lined up correctly, had a wide open player. And I tell you, that's the first time that guy's missed that bad tonight, and he can't get that cramp out of his left calf. So on fourth down, it looks like they may try a field goal. It'll be a 33-yard uh, attempt. On fourth and seven. To attempt a 33-yard field goal, Trevor Vincent. Probably need a block and a score right here. Snaps is down, kick is up, and it's going to be way short. So the Highlanders... Wide left. Really played no pretty good. good defense after that block <laughs> punt. Still in a game here, take over their own 20 yard line. Of course, it's always good to have a resident meteorologist, Marty Nicely, here checking on the weather for us. He was, we call him the hippy dippy weather man, our, our own George Carlin. Watch. <laughs> Sweeney to the left, Gillespie to the right. And hey Mike, that's, you know what, I, I'm not sure why he cut cut that play back. Music I think he might have had an chair, opportunity. He's popped and dropped by yeah, a Austin, Austin Klein right here. Looked like he had a little running, a little running lane, Rob. Still a nice game, four yards on the play. Second down, six Highlanders. Gillespie to the right, Sweeney to the left. Marker on the play. Did you see anybody move wrong? Procedure call again. You know what? It was almost like an illegal shift or something. I'm not sure. I don't think anybody moved. I don't. I think we. So with the penalty, let's back it up five yards. Second down, 11. Same formation for the Highlanders. Klein again breaks it outside. Still on his feet. Nice run by Austin right there. And Mike, I, I think the ball's dead. We're going, hey, we're going left. 90 90 Austin Klein carries. You know, Austin Klein showed Stop some real sparks in that Ooh, jamboree last first. week, and he's seen right there. He certainly has the ability Third to do it. Third and five. Third down five. Oh, 
Sweeney on completion, first down and more. Carlos across the 40-yard line, up to the 43-yard line. Like nice this, call by Zach Schrantham. Nice call, nice execution. Albert put it right on the spot thing he did. He put it where, out, where Sweeney could run with it after the catch. And Looks like Carlos might be cramping. Pass complete to Sweeney. I guarantee you Carlos is in shape. So first Stop and by ten, Highland. Shelton for Cock Kainer is also play. First Ogle and ten. to the left. Down Bird. Gillespie to the right. Music at fullback. Pounds it in there down. Music up with across to the 46-yard line. Initial hit by Blake Gentry for Cock County. <laughs> the initial hit by Blake Gentry. He, he's the one getting up off the ground right now. <laughs> Gain of three, second and seven. Second down, we'll call it seven for the Highlanders. One twelve and counting in the third quarter. Music at fullback, Russell at tailback. Warner fakes, looks, throws, has a man right there, goes up for it right there. I think it was big number 89, Kristen Moore. You know what? That's great play. Pass great great, great catch Moore. by Christian Moore. But watch, watch Albert Warner, Mike. He's, he's got two guys, tremendous play, pressure. And and watch the replay. Great, great job by Albert right County, here. 45. Got both defensive ends getting ready to <laughs> – good job, good job. That's why you got those six, six guys and go up right there. GP – First down at the 45 yard line of Cock County. Music right side, music gets hammered back right there. And I tell you, you don't see Michael hit that hard. You know, the music only... on the carry, and he's popped and dropped by Mathis. No gain. They had the PA speaker. The guy right there said popped and, popped and dropped. And eight. I hope Michael heard that right there. <laughs> popped and dropped. Oh, Michael heard that right there. Gain of two on a plate, second down eight. 11 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Zaquan Gillespie trying to get outside. Zaquan tried to make something out of nothing, but that's gonna be the end of the third quarter. No gain on the play, we'll switch ends of the field. Pass complete for Third Gillespie. quarter score. GP 21, Cock County 28. Mike's good to see Albert have several completions in a row and, you know, kind of get it in a rhythm eight. with the short passing game. I tell you, I think he's going to be one of those guys if we can protect him, he's, he's going to have a nice, score, nice game. Cock County 28, Albert Pittman 21. Fulton now up on top of... Uh, Powell, 76 to three. The Cook County High School baseball quarter, team had their quarter. drawing, chance drawing. Campbell County and the, the, uh, come on gap, another GP for the opponent, 54 to seven. That was for the prize is Jessica Hicks. Jessica Hicks, you won Pitching a painting. Forge up on top of uh, Cock County now, or make it cost me now, 64 to nothing. Friday night football, Rob. Mike, it feels like anything but football season tonight. I'll get get up in the morning, you know, fix me a nice good cup of coffee and drive out, get a couple of papers and just sort of relax and then uh, do what Patty tells me to do the rest of the day. <laughs> I've got a great, great day planned. Third down, three Highlanders. Make that seven Highlanders. Warner fakes, rolls right, looking, 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 throws. That ball's going to be complete up here to Sweeney. I think it's going to be close complete. enough for the Carlos first down. Sweeney. Mike, that's as good as it can get right there. Nice route by Carlos. Good job by the offensive line. Great job by Result Albert Warner. Play. He placed it where no one was going to catch it, Rob, unless it was Carlos. Great footwork. Look at his shoulders. Got his eyes downfield. Great technique. Three straight first downs passing. Great job of Carlos coming back to the football there. Ogle to the right. Sweeney to the, make it Ogle to the left, Sweeney to the right. Music back at tailback. Music on the give. Music again with a carry. 
And again, popped and dropped by Will Woods. I, I hope music heard that one again. They're kind of getting a little carried away with the pop and drop on the PA. There right now, we're, we're missing Big Mac Taylor in there now. Warner drops, looks, throws. The ball's going to be complete right. Oh, through the hands of Ogle right there. I couldn't tell from this vantage point, Rob. I think you should have uh, pulled that ball in. We'll see a replay. Pass intended for Blake Ogle. It's incomplete. I bring up third, third down and, and ten. 10 Highlanders. 10 57 remaining in the uh, ball game. This may be two down territory right here, as Marty did say, for the Highlanders. Sweeney and Ogle to the left. Moore tied in right. Looking, looking, wants to throw down the left side right there. There, that's going to be interference. That's interference right there. No call. They're going to say no call. There's a flag. Pass there. is incomplete. Marker on the play. Pass interference against Cock County. Let's see if we can get that again, Randall, right here. I, I don't know. I don't think that ball would have ever been caught right there. I don't think it would have either. Well, I, that was a little, 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 little grabbing right there. County. I think he grabbed his arm. So it's first and 10, GP, first down by a penalty, but we'll take it right there. Spot the ball at the 22-yard line. Mike Hellon, Rob Younger, Marty Nassau, Kevin Tierney, the straw Bert, boss, and Randall Bryan, your man on instant replay. Russell's trying to get on the corner right there, maybe uh, back to the line of scrimmage. Russell carries. Good, good effort by Russell Mike. He, he's got to have a crease. He, he gets the ball to the line of scrimmage quick. He has that great burst Skyler of speed. He gets in traffic, gets several arms around County. him. It's tough for him. No game. Second and ten. Highlanders Mike. may have to call timeout here. Timeout, Highlanders. Second down, 10 at the 20, make it the 17 uh, yard line. Timeout, Gatlinburg. Rob, I think I, I'm a little, <laughs> I need to hydrate too. I got about half of it. You're not thinking this, this, this is going to end up being kind of a game of attrition. Who's going to be the last man standing? And, GP back home next Friday night. Taking on Greenback to Cherokees at 7.30 at Legion Field. Hey Mike, earlier I said Hammonds Field. I, I, I'd forgotten that we'd changed the name of the field last year to Legion Field. Back home, gonna be a lot, a lot of new looks at the stadium next week. Mike, I'm really looking forward to that next home game. A, a Jumbotron, a, a Letterman's Club, a, People oh, yeah. arriving at the game, the opportunity to see the Rocky Top Sports Park. Of course, Gatlinburg Pittman next home against Greenback on the road at Union County. Go uh, Union, uh, Union Corps County at home, Fulton at home, Cumberland Gap at home, IE away, Granger away, Carter at home, open date, and then Pigeon Forge at home. Six home games this football season. And Rob, we still got a lot of time to go in this ball game. No one's left this one. Opening night, 2014 season. It's number 72 in there, Will Wolf at the left tackle. Oh man, wide open right there. Oh! Oh, great. For great Moore, play call. Wide open. 
may have put a little bit too much heat on it, but um, oh, Christian Moore had a great opportunity to catch and score. And Mike, as fast as Scott County is, you got to get got to get a little heat on the football. Oh, what a great missed opportunity! So with the incompletion, the remain uh, it goes to third down and ten Highlanders. Clock stopped. Ten oh one remaining in the ball game. The uh, trips to the left side for the Highlanders. Russell on a sweep trying to get outside. Steven cuts back inside, outside. And drop at the, uh, the 15 yard line. And, and Mike, that's a good play by that football player. I thought we that's another blown opportunity. We had them outnumbered out there. Had, we the could have just got, got white Cock jerseys County. on red jerseys. And not, you know, that, that's the hardest thing you can do when you get a kid out there, especially a pulling lineman, is just tell them don't run past an odd, curl, a, odd color jersey. And of course, that's what we did. And that got his arms wrapped around Stephen Russell. So it's fourth down and 13 for the Highlanders. Look for Sweeney. Albert rolls out, looking, 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 looking. Cuts it up. Albert still on his feet. Albert, does he get in? It's going to be first down, though. Great play by number four, Albert. Mike, he's had a he's had a great inaugural football game. You know, one thing about him, he's not afraid. He's not, he has shown absolutely zero signs of being nervous. Had a good growth spurt this year, up to <laughs> six foot and weighing 205. As you look at the replay First and goal from the, from the two. All right, back to live action right here. Mike, that's a good, that's a good run. Music. Music carries. There is a flag down. Let's see what the call is. Tackle made by Jacob Carpenter and Brockwell. Face mask. Face mask penalty, personal foul against Cock County. Got to get a little closer, about one yard out now. <laughs> first and Half goal the at the, to the one. Goal, it'll be first and goal from the one. After that face mask call. Warner may just take himself a rock. And Mike, right there's your quarterback sneak. Oh, right, left side right there. How about music for the touchdown? Michael Music. Music, touchdown, Gallenberg. I didn't know if I had a hot call for that quarterback <laughs> sneak, but he had something right there. Aaron Romero in. He's been perfect tonight to attempt to tie up the game for the Highlanders. Romero to attempt. Snaps down, kick is up, and the kick is good. Right it's down good. the middle. With eight so here with 8.35 remaining in the ball game, quarter. all knotted up, 28-28. Good, 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 consistent drive of the you Highlanders. Know, you know, the thing that, that's most impressive about them, and, and Albert Warner has really come to life in these last couple of drives and had great, kind of got a rhythm, and uh, coaches getting some confidence in them. But the thing is, you got to give it to the Gatlinburg-Pittman coaches and players to, just for staying focused, Mike. And, uh, and this is a very long football game, and Cock County's made some big plays against them, and they've just hung in there, stayed focused, hadn't lost their confidence, and uh, amazingly just keeps hanging in this football game. One final on the board, Sevier County shuts out Bearden 35 to nothing night down in Knoxville. And I, and I tell you another thing, Mike, Coach Matt Evans has done a great job piecing and taping five guys or four guys together on the offensive and defensive line. Marty Alakia score. Maribel defeats uh, Webb 28-7. to Romero set to kick off. And Mike, I'm tickled with the addition of Romero to this football team. What's his first name? Aaron. Aaron. You know, he gets on that artificial turf in front of a home crowd. He, he's he's going he's to get pumped and put a couple balls in the end zone. That, that, he, he may knock out the jumbo trunk. <laughs> I 
Actually, I thought that ball was going to stay in bounds. <laughs> so Cock County will have it at good field position. They're not going to make us kick it over. Kick goes out of bounds. Cock County will get the ball on the, their own 35. First and 10. And, and Mike, I tell you one thing that, of course, you don't want to see any kid hurt. He, he's not injured. He's just getting cramped. Their quarterback's still limping around a little bit. And I guess, Mike, I, they never let me. I've never thrown a forward pass in my life. But if you're a right-handed quarterback, is it worse to have a cramp in your right calf or your left calf? I don't know, Rob. Plant foot or step they foot. They wouldn't let me throw the football <laughs> either. You're going to see him throwing off of his back foot a lot. Option left side right there, pitch right there. Good Carlos job, Sweeney. Carlos Sweeney. Tywin Ross on the pitch. You know, Mike, and we, we mentioned it earlier when, you, when you're forced to play a lot of man defense and, it, and it, you know, you get guys trying to run you off, it does make it difficult. It, it takes a lot away from your run defense. And you see Carlos right here. Injury He's a wide on man the on, the on the field. But watch him get off this block, come up on run support. And Good job by Hinton. Taking on the quarterback right there, forcing him a pitch right there. Game hitting a senior, 6'5", 195. I think GP's got some pretty good-sized boys, Rob. And, of course, he's, he seemed to have caught on pretty quick coming off the basketball court and coming out for football. I'd love to see him. I'd love to see a, all those basketball players come out. A loss of three, second down, 13, Cock County. Going to be a throwing down for him. Dropping, 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 being pressured. Wants to throw the football now. Ball's going to be, oh. oh. Hey, I'm telling you, Mike, we're doing a better job with our coverage. But watch, watch number 21, Gabe Hinton. I mean, he Passing looks like he's been playing Tyler defensive Allen. end all of his life. He, he ended up getting blocked it's at the incomplete. last minute. But watch him right here at the bottom of the screen, number 21. Like good stance. Watch, watch his hands. You, you play football with your hands. He keeps his outside arm free, keeps pushing toward the quarterback. He sees the quarterback pull up the throw, tries to get his hands up. Uh, that's pretty good pass rush, pretty good technique. Jim Morris caught him up to speed pretty quick. Clock stop, 7.53 remaining in the ball game. Yeah. Third down, 13. And I tell you, for a 6'6 guy, he does a good job bending his knees and have a pretty good pad level. Empty backfield. Oh. Mike had an X done on up front with Michael Music. He kind of got in the quarterback's lap and may have called him to throw it just a little Passing out front. For Trevor Vincent. Whew, that, that was close. That was close. Watch, for watch you get the replay here. Fourth and 13 while the replay's coming up here. And I, I think Cock County may be thinking about. Uh, Hold on. Get Kate back out here. They had sitting by. Get the defense back out here. Yeah, now they send their putting unit. That's on, good right? pressure by Michael Music. And Mike, it's just amazing. Out of those last seven pass attempts, they've completed one pass as hot as they were in the beginning of the game. And of course, we've kind of done just the opposite. We've been proved as the night's going on. Just make sure you get all these guys covered down here. Clark County set the punt. Rob, this is where you just want the ball back. For you, don't and Mike, you, don't, you don't want to rough the kicker. Don't rough him, Mike. He's not a, a great punter. Find a football. Get find a, a football. Just get away from it. And, Mike, we're going to have a personal foul on number 20, Austin Klein, for the Highlanders. There's another one right there. Penalty markers on the field. Still should be GP football, right?
you're going to have got Carlos Sweeney taunting the sideline. He's going to get another 15. Carlos Sweeney taunting Cock County sideline. Another personal foul. Unbelievable. Penalty markers plus one. Mike, 28-28, seven and a half minutes left. Did a tremendous job stopping Cock County's offense, forced them to punt. Now, possibly three personal fouls. Yeah. And now we're gonna, if we have the ball, we're gonna be coming out of our end zone. Get a good look at Coach Hammonds right there. And Mike, I think that's kind of been one of the Some frustrations of, of, of the coaches. Fulton in the fourth, 83, Powell three. And Mike, Robinson that. Bennett in the third, 16, a Farragut 20. Well, I think we're going to have like 45 yards stepped off here, I think. My guy, that's what I think. It's probably going to be. Uh, those last two are probably going to be half the distance, Rob. Unsportsmanlike conduct called on Gatlinburg. And Mike Cock County's coach is arguing. Was the second flag a retaliation? Was it a personal foul against Cock County? Or I, I thought I all know. three of them so, were against yeah. TP. Another unsportsmanlike conduct called. Robert Bush is making the right call. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Okay. So the second one was against the Cock County player. Yeah. Unsportsmanlike conduct called on Cock County. This is going to be a. It's going to be a taunting call on Carlos right here. Oh. And Gallenberg Pittman, unsportsmanlike conduct. So Mike, instead of taking the ball Hello, close to Newman. close to midfield, are they saying Cock County ball? That's what they're saying. I thought after the kick, Rob, once it hits the ground, that is a change of possession, isn't it? Another score of interest in the fourth. Maryville 28, Knox Webb 7. In the fourth, Pigeon Ford 64, Cosby 0. If it's a if it's a punt and we down the football, it's a change of possession. Mike, two turning points that when this game is over, you can look back on the 
bad. Of course, it's not over with. A lot of football to be played, but the bad call on Blake Ogle Center should have been interception. Then the consecutive personal fouls on the punt. And of course, you know, you, you can almost, if you, if you slip up and make a mistake, block in the back or whatever, that's one thing. But after the play is over and you're stepping off a penalty and you go and taunt the sideline. Rob, I think actually, had, of course, the first foul is on us. And then there's a second foul one on them. And, them. and then the last one. Here's a replay of the punt right here. Right there. You know, you know, that and was, that was, was a shot to the head. After all that, it's first and 10 from their own 15. So, GP's got the ball, Rob. That's all we wanted. That's all we wanted. At the 15-yard line. Gillespie to the right. Sweeney uh, to the left. Let's switch it up. Right side. Sweeney. On the catch. Carlos, left side, cuts I'm back. Like there's a penalty back here. I'm not I, think that's, I think that's going to be pass interference. That's going to be pass interference right there against Newport. A great throw and catch from to Warner to Sweeney. There's was another foul. Oh. I don't know who that was on. Please don't let that be on Carlos. If Carlos gets another penalty after that, watch this, Mike. Step. Throw it, air it out. With a Great for throw Garth and County. catch. Injury timeout on the field. Mike, that, that might have be been a block in the back. That right might there. have been a late hit or block in the back, whatever they're going to call it on Christian Moore. No? No. Oh, it's going to be offsetting. Yeah. Uh, Both on the out. Yeah. That was a, uh, you know, here at the midfield with the flag is still down. That was interference against uh, Cock County, but a you know, great job by Carlos is pulling away right there. Great catch, crossfield running, cutting back. And then we got a personal foul against uh, uh, Cock County. Pass interference against Cock County is the call. Yep. That penalty was declined. Unsportsmanlike conduct called against Cock County as well. That penalty accepted. How long was that thrown catch, Marty? So first and, first and, and ten, ten from at the, the Cock 15. County 15. Down take 15 off of that, so with a penalty step off there. Sixty yards. And you know one thing that I mean I well Mike everybody since Tanner Cox graduated has wondered <laughs> that's all we've been talking about Albert Warner and I think he's answered everybody's questions tonight. Austin Klein trying to get outside on the corner, still on his feet. Knocked out of bounds right there, right at the uh, inside the 10 at the, uh, so they spotted at the uh, four yard line. Austin Klein with the carry, Justin Clevenger with a tackle for Cock County. Mike, a little motion, we'll see. Gain of eight, Jet second sweep. down two. Austin Klein. Second down two, GP, 6.53. Clock stopped in the fourth quarter, all knotted up 28-28. Klein showing some running ability. Mike, that guy had an angle on him. Unbalanced line right, Rob. You look for music to get the football. How about Klein? Not going to get it. with a carry. Third and run, one, clock running, 6.30 remaining in the ball game, Rob. Highlanders trying to take the lead here Third late in the ball one. game. And Mike, I'd say Cont County's gearing up to embracing for number 42. 
to come right over Andrew Nolan. See, you see Nolan slide down to guard, Aki to the right tackle position, and Music getting the ball over those guys in for the touchdown. Music carries for the score. Touchdown, Touchdown, Calumberg. Michael Music. <laughs> and Mike, can you believe it? Great job by Zach Schrant up here in the press box calling formations and plays. Good look at the Highlander crowd across the way as Aaron Romero comes on to kick the football. Mike, can you believe that the Highlanders have, have just really stayed in in this Romero game? Romero to attempt. Snaps down low, kick is up, and the kick is good. So it's Rob, good. 604, Highlanders up. 35-7, first Mike, time we've been up since that. Great job by the holder, low snap, critical, critical play right there. Did a great job getting the ball up right, and Romero just kept his head down, kicked through the football. Good blocking up front. Number, Great blocking by number 89, Christian Moore right there. And Michael Music basically walked into the end zone. And Mike, as they say, there's a lot of football left to be played. Oh. And of course, a bad call by the referee. This ball game should be 35-21. I tell you, Mike, that you see Corey um, Boatman, on Boatman the over there on the sideline counting the special teams players. You know, when you got this many guys with leg cramps, this many new players, he's done a good job getting his personnel in. Final down at Seymour. Seymour defeats Sullivan North 34 to seven. Woo, what a night, Rob. And Keyshawn <laughs> Hurst, deep for Clark County. Set to kick off. Romero. I'm gonna have to get a Gatorade. go deep with it. That's Allen at the 10-yard line. Good return. Up. I'm going to say it's down. And they're going to, that's going to, nice Maybe effort. On the return. Look at number 21. Great job. Great effort. Great hustle. So Un unfortunately, great field possession for Cock County. At the 38-yard line. GB Dave one timeout, time Cock County, all three left. Cock County goes on offense from their own 38-yard line. And Mike, what started out as a hot, sluggish game, seems like as the game's gone on to the, the third hour, everybody's got a little wind in their sail, and they tell you, you can just tell their competitors and still want to win and play. Probably lost a lot of weight tonight, not as much <laughs> to carry around. Got two wide outs over here, Rob. I'm probably down under 300 myself. Empty backfield. Looking, looking, wants to go deep down the field. Ball's gonna be incomplete, Rob. He should have caught that football right there. Mike, I don't, I'm not sure Blake knew the ball was in the air. There is a flag Pass down is back up here. Marker on the field holding against Cock County. Back him up, back him up, right, Rob? Back him up. That was scary. Who was that defender? Was that Blake Ogle? I think it was number three, Blake Ogle. Had good coverage. I, uh, you know, when you see that, when you're playing man coverage, Mike, you, you kind of look at the numbers or the ear hole, and uh, when he turns around, you turn around. But, but he was close enough and good enough coverage to break up the play. So with the penalty, Cock County faced with long yardage here on first and from the spot, 21-yard line. So maybe more than that. It's hard. I can't even see the. Like we, we're outnumbered over here. We, we're outnumbered. Uh -oh. We're still, still outnumbered. outnumbered. We're still outnumbered. He's got, he's got his choice. He's got his choice. There we go. Picked off on Carlos. Got inside Carlos. No flags. No feet, flags. No flags. Feet. Hold on to the football. Grab Carlos Sweeney. And Mike, incredible play by Carlos. Uh, they had three receivers. We had two defensive back. And, and Carlos, we talked about it before. Just great instincts and always. He's kind of, we're kind of, kind of looked like it, yeah. But uh, great instincts, right place at the right time. Good hands. 
good pressure, good, on good the pressure by the defensive line. And you know, right here, Rob, we talk. I'm County. telling you, Mike, and look, look at that at the football. Acumen, I guess you'd say, of Gabe Hinton. He's a great pass rush, sees the interception, gets out front and makes a block. Well, I think there is a flag down on the way. Oh, no. Unsportsmanlike conduct, Rob, against Cock County. Marker on the play. Let's go back to that. Uh, was that uh, had to be after the ball, right, Rob? Unsportsmanlike conduct on Cock County. It was afterwards. Yeah, yeah, dead ball, so it won't show up right there. So uh, I tell you, Rob, half the distance to the goal line, first and go from the five for GP up on top, 35-28 here with uh, 5.32 remaining in the ball game. I'm going to try to get up out of this chair, Rob, without flipping over backwards again and hurting myself. Cleaning windows also here in the press box, Rob. I gotta get over here to give good view. Unbounced line right for the Highlanders. Music on the give, music up to gut, music down close to the one music yard line. Carries. They may spot it at the two. The Second down go, Highlanders. Highlanders want to take her time right here. One timeout left. Cock County, all three remaining. They're allocation here in the uh, second half. Okay. Hey, next, next Come on, we got to get this ball snapped. Hurry, 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 hurry. Music. Face mask, face mask. I tell you, that's the only way they've been able to bring music down and not Rob tied here is a face mask. And Mike, I think that I think that what they were trying to get right there, Zach was trying to go an unbalanced line Easy right, carries. hoping they would eagle down Still on that back side. The and then I think he wanted to run the ball to the weak side. I'm not sure he got the play he wanted, but um, like a, like I said, when it's so hard to bring Michael music down, he's look he's got seven guys right there, and, and he almost faced a force of face, mask, face mask. mask. I didn't think they were going to call it. So with the uh, penalty to take it down to the half yard line, 439 remaining second, a half yard for the Highlanders. Warner on a sneak. Warner, what are they saying? Touchdown, the Highlanders. And Mike Warner with a score. Albert Warner's first varsity touchdown as a starting quarterback for the Highlanders. <laughs> Mike, he doesn't look like an underclassman. And he's really managed a great game tonight. <laughs> Mike, he's been mistake-free, he, and he's made big plays. And I think he's made more big field. plays than anybody thought he was going to make. But, uh, man, he just looked great out there tonight. Of course, he's still going to have to play several more minutes of great football. And Cock County has a man cramping up again. And, you know, we talked about it at halftime. It's going to be interesting to see Cock County's level of fitness. and. Good look at the Highlander faithful. All we, we're, as they say, we travel well. Yeah. Rob, the holder is, is uh, number 80 lane hitting. Is that, uh, is that, are they brothers? There's Mike and Cindy Warner. Say they're nervous as cats coming into this game. Jerry and Nancy Hayes across the way there as well. We were talking about Jerry Hayes today, one, just one of the nicest guys in Gatlinburg. ETSU man. I tell you, if I was over Done there with him. Done a great job as a city commissioner. If I was over there with him right now, they'd get us with a sunshine law, wouldn't they? <laughs> I, I, I guarantee you that the fans have lost some uh, little sweat tonight too, Rob. <laughs> Good crowd across the way. You know, I'm sure teams when they schedule us love to see us come. Rob, this game has gone so long that uh, 
Kevin had to uh, change tapes with another I, I, CD. Mike, I, I tell you, the most one of the most impressive things is just not being so hot in Cotton County just came out offense on fire and doing such a great job and their quarterback having such a good game. And we just kind of somehow stayed focused as a, as a coaching staff and as players and hung in there and hung in there and kept trying and uh, All right, persevering. The, hitting the hold, Romero to kick. Romero to attempt. Snaps the height, kick is up, and the kick is good. I tell you, great job right there by him. And you know what? Last last good snap, good. ball was on the ground. He did a great job getting it upright. Romero, no, not distracted, kept his head down, kicked through the football. That time, snap was high. And you know why it was high? Because they went to the sideline and said, hey, get, get the snap up. You were low that time. <laughs> All right, Rob Highlander, two touchdown lead, 42-28, here with 427-426 remaining in the ball game. Mike, I'll, I'll tell you one thing that I like that I've seen tonight, and and I, I think sometimes, and of course it's easy to be critical, I, I see an active sideline with coaches. I see all those young guys, young coaches involved. I see Lee Hammonds, Coach Matt Evans, Coach Benny Hammond. Everybody's over there involved and active, counting players, making sure we got right personnel. Final this has been score. a tough game personnel-wise. See Coach Lee Hammonds right there, Rasheed Moore. Zero. And then these two guys in the booth, Jim Moore and Zach Schrant. Of course, Jim's a veteran. But, um, man, they've just done a great job. And they need to keep doing it for four minutes and 26 seconds. Of course, Jim Morris coached more uh, ball games than Zach France played in and coached him himself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, Rob, you know, time's in your favor right here for the Highlanders. And, uh, you know, you, you got to keep everything in front of you. Ben, don't break. Ben, don't break because uh, you don't want you don't want the uh, fine Cox to put the, a quick one up on you. No, and they've shown that they have ability to make the big play. And they're, and they're well, they're going to get the ball at the 35 yard, and make that the 40 yard line. Good field position Clark, out there. Clark County going offense from their own 35 yard line. And Mike, they do. They they have the ability to strike quick. They've made some big plays. Quarterback can definitely has the arm to throw the ball downfield. Almost had a big play last possession. Trips to the left. New quarter. Is that a new quarterback in a ball game, Rob? Mike? No, no, that's no. the wide. That's the wide out number three right there. Trips to the left. Five Mike. wide outs. Oh, I tell you right there, Rob, lucky again right there. Pass intended for Skyler Island. It's incomplete. Second and ten. Clock stop, 421 remaining. And, Mike, that's the thing about Cock County. They, they can make the big play, but they just they do not eat any time off the clock. Mike Stephen Russell playing a deep center field, maybe maybe a little too deep. Coaches in the booth knew that the post, post route was coming. Stephen Russell with a tackle. Hey, I knew it was coming. And now before another, Dr. Matthew Kinkwider, first down. They're probably going to come back with it right here. Pressure by music. Rob, like I said, you got to bend, but don't break right there. Jake with the reception. Mm. Dog County right back in this ball game, Rob. Unreal. Mike had pretty good pressure from up the middle from music. And, uh, you know, oh, man. And, 
boy, just like that. <laughs> Trevor Vincent. Mike, how much time did they take after. off the clock? Uh, 27 seconds. 27 on, seconds. On that drive. And one thing that when we get the ball back, Cock County has not been a team that we can just run, run the football, move the chains, eat up the clock. Get. It's good. Rob, Cock County, all three time out with 359 onside kick time. Onside kick, kick time, yeah. Or you kick away and play defense. Here's a replay. Great pressure by music. No, this is a play before that. Here it is. Well, Mike, I'm not sure that the inside, one of the inside linebacker was the only guy on that deep route. Mike, did we ever get an injury update on Mac Taylor? No, we did not. GP may go with a good hands receiving team right here, Rob. Looks like they, got, they do have a good hands team in there. Got number 18, Tyrese Draper coming into the game on the hands team. Vincent set to kick off. Probably think it's coming. No there doubt about it. it. It's coming. No, the 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 official official call timeout. Official on a sideline called an official timeout to Rob before they kicked the ball. Now I think it was an official timeout. Mike, this is this is this is this is where you get nervous. You got a lot of young guys up there on those front two lines. Yeah. We're gonna get another chance at it, Rob, right here. Good grief. Good move out of the press box. What a ball game, Rob. What a ball game. Oh. We're going to call them all sides again. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, I wish they weren't offsides. That's a, a great right. job by number 80, whoever he. Uh, number 80, that's Lane Hinton. Lane Hinton. We need more Hinton well, kids. Well, I tell you what's going to happen. They're going to do offsides so many times that they are going to recover one now. 
Offsides against Cock County. Call it again. Oh, good grief, guys. Same guy each time. Marker on the play. Mike, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. This has been one of the strangest ball games tonight you with the multiple it? personal foul and the trouble. Figuring that out. I think it's maybe a little retaliation by that head linesman right there since the coach was on him. <laughs> it just, you know, the more opportunities you get at it. I may go right side this time. Well, number seven, I came went over to the kicker and said, kick it to me. You know, one that you kind of worry that. That's what. Get down. Oh. Fine, trying to get outside. This may work out good, Rob. Well, I tell you what, Austin Klein did a great job right there. But if you go but no, uh, Friday or uh, uh, Monday in the film room, Rob is going to say, just get down right there. <laughs> <laughs> he, I'm sure he wishes he would have. He took a lick over there on the sideline. Austin Klein on return, met by Mr. Trevor Vincent. I think the PA, the PA guy's First a little, 10, a little snarky, over. isn't he? <sighs> music on the give, music up the gut. Rambles, almost another face music mask right there. with a give. Mike the give. Capoeo with a tackle. Gain of, we'll call it four in a play. Second down, six Highlanders, 327 counting in the ball game. Gain of four, second down of six. Oh My County guy. marker on the play. I think that's going to be against Cock County. I can't wait to see the stats in this ball game tomorrow. How many penalties were called both teams? Well, you know, I was, when I was talking to some of my old I'll Cotton County buddies before the game, and they said, you know, one of the things about playing Gatlinburg Pittman early in the season, they said Gatlinburg Pittman's after the one of the most well-coached teams they'll play. They're typically not going to turn the ball over. They're not going to have that many penalties, and that's what and Cotton County is going to turn it over and have penalties. Music again, music up to gut, pounding, twisting, turning. First Music down, Highlanders. with a give. Jonah Freeman with a tackle. Result of the play, first down, Gatlinburg. Nice little lead block by number five, Stephen Russell. You know, Mike, he's had, Coach Evans has had some players playing different positions tonight. That guy, the new kid, Zach Ake, he's played several different positions tonight, doing a good job in there. Will McMahon, who missed practice this week, um, back at his center spot, doing a good job. First and 10 after 24. Music again, music on his feet. Michael Music, 24 yard touchdown, touchdown Gatlinburg, <laughs> music with a carry. Unbelievable. That's nice music job. to your years, Rob. <laughs> Sweet music. Nice job. You see him kind of hit that hit, hit that second gear and just kind of kick it in, throw hey, that thigh up. He's exhausted. Can you tell it? <laughs> you know what? He's probably played more as many snaps as anybody on the field and has been asked to do more. Hitting the hole, Romero to kick. That guy had to be outside, but it looks good for Romero. Well, Perfect on the night. 49-35 Islanders. Mike, if you'd have told me we were going to score up 50 points tonight. <laughs> hey, 
I, I tell you, just the most impressive thing is how the whole organization, team, trainers, and coaches have just hung in there, stayed focused, and and through cramps and everything, and and bad couple bad decisions with penalties, and um, have just really hung in there and came back and and. and and beat a team that just really came out and got on top of us. There's a touchdown run right here. Here comes the replay right here. It's a good turnout block right there by number 73, uh, two, Will Wolf right there. You know, one thing too, you, you hear coaches talking about when a new coach comes into a program, they talk about having to teach teach kids how to win you know get that winning culture and still that's that that's the difference tonight our our boys know how to win they expect Romero to win our coaches know how to win expect to win and they and that's but that's Rob, why we're Cock county much improved football team they are they really are and you know they had the opportunity to run away with this game there in the, in the second Hurst. quarter having that 21 7 lead he kind of got his steps off right there uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh. There we go, number 33, Garrett Pack on a big special teams play. Going to be a personal foul against Cock County. Penalty marker on the field. And Mike, that's got the Cock County faithful Man. up there. Scott County fans think it should be against number 20. Personal Offsetting foul penalties. against Scott County. Personal foul against Gatlinburg. Penalties all set. That's, that's Austin Klein's second personal foul of the night. Robert, I think it, right here, I think I may go with a three-man rush. But we're not going to do that. Talk County, Steve. Uh, three, uh, still three timeouts left. Sam Hooper. First down at the Highlander, 38 yard line. Result of the play, it's a Dr. Matthew Kicklider, first down. I tell you, I'm really impressed with Gabe Hinton playing defensive end tonight. I am too. I think when Coach Moore goes back and watches the tape of his ends, uh, I don't know what the injury update is going to be on Mac Taylor, but um, I think Hinton's earned himself some playing time one way or the other. Second down, 10, Cock County. Well, out pattern. He's out of bounds. Was he out of bounds? No, it was nope, a catch. That was a catch. Carper's pass complete to Scholar Island. Working on sidelines here, trying to conserve some of that clock. Down two scores, 135 remaining. Third and one. I tell you, at this point in the game, Mike, you're running on adrenaline. Third down one, Cock County. Hanton Ben. Hinton being hauled up ball is going to be picked off right there by Carlos Sweeney. Carlos Sweeney's second interception of the ball game. And Mike will start Pat. getting some votes on the Pat. players and Pat. plays Pat. of the game. You're writing that down, Rob. What a lot of highlights tonight. That was one on the side. Now here's the interception coming up right here. Hinton being held down here by. This big old tackle right there. They don't call it. Quarterback rolls out. And it goes to uh, picked off by Carlos. The second one. I 
I'll be glad to get back to their press box the next night. <laughs> and Mike, we're going past three hours on this football game. <laughs> Music carries. You can't read my right, can you? I cannot. Gain of five, second down, five. Down to 46 seconds here. We'll have those players of the game right after this uh, play right here. Albert looking at the clock, just run it down. Cock County not going to take their timeouts right there. Ball loose right there. Cock County picks it up. Touchdown. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, we're going to see some more onside kicks coming up. And Mike, that, guy, that kid just got penetration, put his hat right on the football and right after the handoff. So Cock County to attempt to PAT. Vincent to attempt. Snaps down, kick is up, and the kick is good. <laughs> Rob, let's go ahead and do the players of the game, the uh, Five Oaks Construction Offensive Player of the Game. It's uh, We're going to give that to a couple of guys tonight. That's uh, big number 42, Michael Music, and uh, sophomore quarterback Albert Warner. Two good, you know, steady players on offense tonight. The um, – uh, Five Oaks defensive player of the game with the two pickoffs tonight. Number seven, Carlos Sweeney. And and a bunch of tackles <laughs> and big plays. And, and the uh, Greenbrier play of the game was the second play of the ball game. The uh, been a lot of big plays tonight, but that really stood out the most uh, with the uh, Greenbrier restaurant play of the game. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like the, the way this thing is going yard tonight, touchdown we run back to the by rest of the season. Mike, I Michael hope Mike. Michael Mike. This has been a long football game. I hope I can sleep in a little bit in the morning before I go to the Crockett's Iron Skillet for breakfast in the morning. Is that where you're going tomorrow? Then, then do a little string up the fly rod, head to Little River. Uh, I may go to Crockett's as well, and, and then maybe uh, you get, know the, get, the, get the, ski, the skillet breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. It'll, it'll feed your whole family. And, and, uh, and then maybe for dinner or lunch, uh, no way Jose's. Zaquan hauls that ball in right there. And Rob, I say you're going to get a steady dose of knees, taking the knees right here. And Mike, you know, when I, we were down at, down on the, talking to some of the Rugal's regulars down there on the fence at halftime and uh, was talking to our old buddy Sutton and Smitty and some of those guys. And I said, you know what, it's 20. I have no idea how this game is, which way this game is going to go the second half. But if you'd have told me this morning that this game was going to end up 49 to 42, I, I'd have thought you were off your rocker. Cock County calls a timeout now. Their first of the second half.
Gatlinburg Pittman back at home next week, Rob. 7.30 kickoff Friday night at uh, Legion Field, Hammond Stadium, take on the Greenback Cherokees. I think they uh, opening up with Sweetwater tonight. And hey Mike, I, I, you know, one of the great things, I just love riding home, listening to the scores, shooting the breeze, talking about the games. And uh, it, it's just great to be back in football season. Well, we're out of sorts. First game, a little rusty. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah kind yeah. of up here crammed in the corner, but um, can't wait to get back to the new press box, new Letterman's Lounge next week, get to see a lot of old players because they're always on the other side of the field. And um, Rocky Top Sports World's finished, uh, some stadium improvements, yeah. Jumbotron. Just, of course, you know, just one of the, to me, one of my favorite things is, is seeing old guys, old players, and I s saw a couple of them this week, saw uh, Oh, come on. Russell on the outside. Stay in bounds. Stay in bounds. He got the, he's got the first down there. Yeah. He's got the yeah, first he's down. He's got the first he's down. Got the first down. But I uh, saw some old players this week. Travis Cooper. I saw two old tight ends this week. I saw Ryan Desir. I see him every day. His son's name's Jackson. My son's named Jackson. So we we see, see the replay. And then I saw Travis Cooper this week. Oh, so, Travis. So, oh, just love to see those old players. So GP going to get in the victory formation. Cock County can stop it a couple times, but uh, that's it. Rob, the uh, Highlanders are, uh, they did call a timeout. Highlanders going 1-0 and on the season, and that makes uh, Highlanders go uh Gonna go one and zero in the football season. Cock County's gonna drop to zero and one, but much improved football team here at Cock County. But uh, I know Coach Benny Hammonds and his staff are gonna go home, and boy, we're gonna watch that huddle film all weekend. And uh, I'm telling you, they're, they're gonna be a uh, you know gonna a lot, of, a lot of work to do. You know that's why you uh, why you film the games, and that's why you meet on Sundays, and that's why you, uh, you practice and make adjustments. And let's hope the Highlanders come out of this relatively relatively injury free tonight. Did we hear a Injury on Mac Taylor. Six point five. One more uh, take a knee, and that's going to be it, Rob. What a long night! I, I felt like I've been in a sauna. Have we ever played a game this long? I don't know. <laughs> without you know, a, I think last year we kind of got in. De it's uh, <clears throat> this game is officially three hours and uh, sixteen minutes old right now. Warner to take one more snap. And it's over here at uh, Cock County High School. Highlanders victorious tonight. 49-42 over Cock County. One of the wildest games I've ever watched. For uh, Marty Nicely, Kevin Tierney, Randall Bryan, Rob Young, this is Mike Hilton. So uh, it's great to be a Highlander. See you next week at Legion Field.